Hello! Hello and welcome back to Celestia. How is everyone doing? Uh, give me a second. I'm just gonna resize this. Oh, that's a little too small. God damn it. <laughs> Wait, no! Please move! No! There we go. Kepler Pop, hello! How's it going? I hope y'all have been having a wonderful Sunday. It is Sunday, right? <laughs> Time flies when you're having fun. And uh, I certainly have been having fun. And yeah, I am currently in this game, in the middle of raiding a particular town, so I think what we're gonna do is finish exploring this place, do the scent of commerce thing in here, and then see what's up with the rest of the world. I do think the only chapter two we have left is Partitio, maybe, I think? So, um, <laughs> we're on to the chapter threes now, and that's gonna be quite fun. Old man who lost his grandchild in the war, oh gosh. <laughs> The king isn't the finest fellow around. Can we really trust him? Oh, <laughs> it's almost like Hikari's storyline is gonna matter in the overall world or something. Wow, I wonder if uh, things will properly change once you finish his storyline, actually. Octopath 1 did have that. Octopath 1 had a thing where if you finish the storyline, it would go ahead and like change things for you. Certain characters would show up in certain locations where they weren't before. It was pretty cool. I hope they do something like that again. Because that was super fun to see. <laughs> Alright, where's Partitio at? Also, we don't have Partitio in our army. Let's get Partitio to join the crew. Change. Partitio. Uh, Casti is out. And let's head on in. Wait a minute. What? <laughs> What's even off in that direction? Hold on. I mean, while we're here, we might as well scrutinize everyone who comes across us. Uh, soldier soon to get his first taste of war. Plenty of courage, but no strength. Hmm. That's a little sad. You know what? I'm leaving him his armor, but I'm taking his weapon. <laughs> <laughs> this will help you. At least you'll be safe. <laughs> I'm taking this child stuff. I didn't even check to see Whoa. if he's worth it. I'm still taking it. Aww. Oh no. <laughs> well, now I feel bad. <laughs> this is what I get. This is what I get for not checking their bios before taking their things. It's a hard knock life out here indeed. Alright, where's Partitio at? Wait, what? Isn't that here? Also, what's this? It's a nice statue. Very pretty. Is she blindfolded? Looks kind of like a blindfolded dancer. I could be wrong about that though. I guess not. <laughs> I mean, why would they go about blindfolding a dancer, right? Although, to be fair, I have seen a very good blindfolded dance number. Um, forgot who the people are who made it, though. Also, how the frick- Oh, there's a pathway here! Huh? The emblem drawn on that cart! It can't, it can't be. be! It's the fire I'm- <laughs> Okay, I had to do it. <laughs> It's a leaf, it's literally the opposite. What is it? Is that the crest of the legendary merchant Masood? Oh. Uh, come to think of it, he was supposed to hail from around these parts. A legendary merchant? Masood, the merchant who walked the entirety of both the eastern and western continents. Every merchant worth their salt would give a left kidney to read the chronicles he penned of his travels. The mercantile manuscript. But not the right kidney, only the left. <laughs> <laughs> to think I'd have the chance to meet him in a place like this. Okay, you're presuming too much here. I mean, like, yes, he's I probably to gonna show up, but... I that mercantile manuscript. Oh, we're gonna steal his stuff. Oh, okay, well, I'm okay with that. <laughs> Actually, I suppose we're going to purchase it from him or something. Uh, that's a grape. I won't say no to a good old grape. This is definitely stealing, but I'm not gonna question it. It's locked. Damn it. Who are you? Howdy! You're the legendary merchant Masood, ain't you? <laughs> oh, there's something I'm dying to ask you. It's polite to introduce oneself before shouting questions at strangers, you know. Wow, rude. Oh, pardon me. Partitio, at your service. Don't question it. <laughs> it's alright. <laughs> So, 
We're just gonna steal things from this world famous merchant. It's all fine. No problems here. Like me. Oh, I've heard stories about you ever since I was a chickadee. Uh, like that time you struck a deal with that horde of bandits, or when you saved that little kingdom in the west from famine. Oh yeah, and when See, you I trust no one with now. the royal family, <laughs> that story is stuck in my old noggin. Yeah, I definitely trust no one now. Did he I actually do those things? What you wanted with me? A merchant should know how to get to the point. Oh shit! How dare you insult Particio like this? Oh, yeah, right again. Uh, sorry, got carried away. I'll cut to the chase. No, Particio, assert yourself. Assert your dominance. Let me read that chronicle you penned. The Mercantile Manuscript. No. No leave. What? Come on. <laughs> uh -huh. Don't make me repeat myself. I have no obligation nor reason to let a nobody like you anywhere near it. Okay, what if we give you money? <laughs> nobody? Now listen here. That's hurtful. Besides, even a nobody's got a nobody's pride. And if I may toot my own horn, I've got some merchant chops to my name. Oh, you do, do ya? <laughs> Why does he then sound I'll like he doesn't believe test. me? Prove your worth to me, oh nobody of supposed talent. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. You got yourself a deal, fella. Alright, what's it gonna be? Good. As a merchant, there is one treasure I value above all else. Money. Bring it to me. Uh huh? Uh huh? If you profess to be a merchant, the answer should be obvious. One treasure you value above all else as a <laughs> merchant? What? Of course, if you think this test unfair, you could just. No, 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 I'll give it a shot. Hold on. Interesting. <laughs> I always stock whatever it is my customer's looking for. That's my merchant's creed. What is it, honor? I promise, I'll figure out what your treasure is, fella, and bring it right here to you. Is it gonna be dignity or something? <laughs> I'd very much like to see you try. What? I, I feel like... Is it a real thing? It's gonna be some... A legendary Masood's treasure, huh? I'll need to start by looking for clues. It's gonna be some like non corporeal concept. Maybe someone isn't it? around no? town knows maybe, a thing or two about it. Time to gather information. Maybe I've been reading too many of those kids' tales. <laughs> Alright. Around town looking for info? That I can do. Wait, hold on. What? Inside the house, maybe? No. Oh, it just says go back up here. Eh? Wait, hold on. He has a different quest, or is this the same quest? As a merchant, okay. bring it. Fair enough. Huh. All right then. Let's ask. Uh, how about you? What's the challenge with these? Let's go. Ron Turniped, hello. How's it going? They may be more receptive to my challenges. But that ain't gonna stop me from taking this guy's clothes. Also, yo, I forgot we equipped Marth with Particio. Look at this. Look at him. Hey, Marth. How's it going, Marth? Marth is like, why am I out here? I'm supposed to be in Flames Church. <laughs> Marth cannot escape. Uh, okay. Who the hell is gonna have info? Oh, hey. A guy I haven't scrutinized yet. Uh, okay, that's not that good, never mind. Alright, ah, 42. Don't you dare, that's illegal. Actually, it's not. I can ask you any questions I want. It's completely f Seriously? Okay, 42, right? Uh, one more. Just, I, I just want to know what this man is up to. Well, man. Yes. Okay, uh... Folks who keep the town running smoothly. Easier inquiries, wow. So if you manage to inquire that guy, you can now inquire easier everyone else. Okay, fine, I guess. I've already talked to all of these people, right? Who the hell would know about Particio's stuff? Someone in this corner? No, this is just somebody with a quest. 
Oh yeah, we've definitely already scrutinized these people. Is there someone new out here? Oh, that, that's a new guy, I think. Well now. Uh, also, oh, <laughs> we're not currently in cast day two. I'd better update that. Hold on. Uh, Partitio. To um, Masood. Merchant treasure. Because who the hell knows what that merchant treasure is? Okay. Uh, pain persists with this poor soldier. I shall relieve you of your pain. I shall take your items. <laughs> now that you have no worldly <laughs> possessions, you're uh, <laughs> you're gonna be fine. <laughs> That's definitely how this works. What's this? Uh, only apothecary in the old quarters. <laughs> but she never forgets the faces of those she treats. That's actually really cool. Nice NPC. Maybe it's someone in the other half of town, because I don't think I ever went to the other half. Yeah, the one with the dancer statue? That's gotta be it. Oh, wait. No, we already knocked this guy out of the way. <laughs> we already took that guy's stuff. Easy. Let him live this time. Okay. Is there anyone here at night? Uh, oh, there's someone there. Do you know anything about treasure? No? Okay. What's the merchant value above all else? Did I scrutinize Masood? He wasn't scrutinizable, was he? I didn't realize. Oh, what the frick? Masood's daughter? Okay, uh... Oh, that's his treasure, isn't it? That's his treasure for sure. Oh, shit, okay. I probably just need to bring her with, but I'm gonna bribe her anyways. Will first. this do? <laughs> she does not resent her father for disregarding both herself and her mother for the sake of his business, but she does not respect him either. She simply resolves never to live the same way he did. Oh my god. Hey, I'm bringing you your treasure. This is it. Let's work up a nice sweat. It sucks because I have to let go of Marth. Goodbye, Marth. <laughs> I paid good money to bring Marth with me, but it's okay. You know what I should do? I should go back there and have Temenos and Marth get back. That'd be great. As promised, I brought you your treasure, Masood. And it only cost a small fortune. <laughs> you did, did you? Show me. Your greatest treasure is her, your daughter. Dun dun da da. <laughs> Masood's daughter is like, the frick is this? Why am I even involved? <laughs> Let me out of here. <laughs> Incorrect. No. <laughs> what? Gasp. Also, it wow, is rude. true that many value their family above any jewel or gem. But that is not the answer that I am seeking for okay, this. Okay, so am I barred, or do I get another shot? Better luck next time. Oh, so mean. <laughs> shot through the heart. <sighs> She's just so done. All right, hey, uh, Masood's daughter, can you help me out here? I was sure I had it. What is this test that father gave you? Huh? Oh, uh... Ah. What father meant wasn't his treasure in particular, but what a merchant treasures most. The thing you treasure most as a merchant isn't leaves or sundries, Right? It's not? <laughs> it's not? Merchant's what? Trip. Uh, connections? That's all the hints you'll get from me. Good luck. Oh, she knows the answer. Get the frick back here. <laughs> Why? What do I treasure as a merchant? Like Happy she cold said, Sunday here on the East Coast. Sundays, like, yeah. That's for sure. Yeah, the wind has been blowing quite strongly over here on the West Coast. That's it. That's it, says Partitio. My greatest treasure is me. Uh, In which case, does that even the sun must feel the same way, too. Just point to him? Is that the answer? It's worth a shot, anyhow. Uh, yeah, I guess it is. You know, zero effort. What's that? Very tired of this cold weather. Ready for real spring? Spring shall come again. Alright, I guess I'm gonna just talk to him. I bribe him? 
You know what? Yeah, you know what? Why am I not bribing him? <laughs> I have a request. I have a request. <laughs> okay, okay, fair enough. This guy. Very gusty recently. Yeah, you can hear the wind howling all through the night. It's actually kind of great. Also, whoa, 20% off purchases. That is entirely fair, actually, now that I think about it. Um, huh. <laughs> Maybe I want this guy with me. Wait, does the 20% also include things like um, the boat? Is that a purchase? I haven't gotten a boat yet. Well, anyways, uh, how do I show him myself? I, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what is this even? Wish for warmer weather? Yeah, I mean, uh, I kind of, I do like cold weather. It's locked. Uh, yeah, how the frick do I present myself to him? Is that even an option? <laughs> what? What if I bribe him? Oh, that was it. Okay, you're supposed to not bribe him, but hire him. Fair. You wanna hire me? What is the meaning of this insult, Mr. Nobody? Enjoy the I change of seasons, don't treasure, enjoy fella. internal winter. I, it's you. I like so. decently cold weather, but not too cold. You can always put more clothing mm. on, but you can't peel your skin off when it's too hot, you know? You asked me to find the treasure you value most as a merchant. And it's you. I figure. Every merchant's got one treasure they set store by above all else. Connections they built, book learning and experience. Okay, so it was connections. That's what I thought too. All these but I don't think this is the answer. So he's still more gonna valuable fail. than any material object, leaves included. If the answer is actually just money, I'm gonna be so depressed. Or am I wrong? <laughs> it's definitely not gonna be. But. <laughs> hmm. Correct. What? I'm surprised you got it. What? <laughs> of course I did. My greatest treasure that was is the, the answer. same as yours, after all. <laughs> Wait, you mean I predicted it correctly Sorry, from the beginning and then second-guessed myself the whole way through? The right direction. <laughs> God damn it. If I couldn't find the answer after all that, I'd have no right to call myself a merchant. Fine dealing with humid heat, but never I'm had to deal with the desert type heat? That there hmm. are still merchants in this I've had to deal with both. I'm not actually sure which one is matters. worse. You know what? Desert heat or humidity? There have been dozens like you who have come here seeking my mercantile manuscript. I, find, I, I feel like I don't like humid heat Every purely one because it usually comes with mosquitoes. Test, and went home empty-handed. I started to think the world had gone dull. The real treasure was the friends we made along the way. <laughs> here. Uh, yeah, that's basically it. Oh, take it, he says. Heck What's yeah. this? The key to the archive in which I placed oh, my archive, mercantile... Somewhere. Yippee! What? I've grown old. When I pass, so too will my greatest treasure, correct? Fair. But not unless you so pass I it along. might as well pass on a part of that yeah. treasure to you. <laughs> Particio, the merchant. It's me. The sum treasure of those who came before you. <laughs> you got it, fella. Thank you. Yeah, okay. You can now peruse the Mercantile Manuscript in the archives. Where... Where are the archives? Where? What? Wait, it just showed a picture of archives without actually telling me where it is. It's supposed to be... Is it in here or something? Oh, maybe it's... Wait, actually, can I get into his house? Oh, I can get into it. Oh, his house is the archives. Never mind. Okay, uh... There's scrolls and stuff. Let's go. Okay, wait. One, one thing, one thing. I won't read all of these, obviously, but... The farthest edges of the four corners of Celestia are detailed on no maps. Impassably high mountains and deadly currents stop us from exploring. Ku is at war with some unnamed kingdom or kingdoms to its south. Immigrants from some north, unknown eastern locale walk the news. Oh. The unknown is a place of magical appeal to me. 
<laughs> Outer Continent? <laughs> a poor name for a universe of possibility. We are prisoners in a tiny cave called Celestia, satisfied by shadows cast by a light that streams in from outside the walls which confine us. Holy shit, it's Plato's closet. Oh my god. Or Plato's cave, whatever it's called. The allegory of the cave? Have people seen that? It's actually really cool. And by really cool, I mean really kind of dreadful in an existential sense. <laughs> this is surprisingly unhelpful. I, I feel like there's actually good information in there, but I am going to read it later. Um, yeah. What can I do you for? Well, I can toss Ochet back in my party. And I can head the freak out. Let's go. Off to the new corners of the world. Oh, I'd actually have. Have I. I haven't in, actually finished. Wait. Have I mugged this? I don't think I've mugged this guy yet. Oh, he's strong. Never mind. <laughs> How about this one? He's also strong. Never mind. I'm out of here. <laughs> Okay, I'm definitely gonna be here at some point in the future. But... Well... Let's look at some people- Oh, can I- Can I beat this guy up? Can't ambush yet, huh? Damn it. Maybe during the day? Okay, yeah, 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 six, right? Can we do six now? I feel like we can do six now. Where's the save point? <laughs> Let's do it. First combat of the day, knock out an innocent man. As usual, where's the save point? There gotta be one down here somewhere. Oh, that's tempting. How do I get up there? Ah. Uh... Mm. <laughs> Damn it. Wait, is there actually no save point in this part of the town? Do I seriously have to go all the way back? That's a little sad. <laughs> Here we are. And all the way back. On my way to beat up people. This is fine. <laughs> Alright, I have rest, um, or I have- actually I do have rest, I have Merchant Hikari now. This could be very possible. Let's go! If I must. If I must. <laughs> Don't mind this falling back, but what are you hoping to get out of it? I Prepare thought it would yourself. be pretty obvious, actually. Uh, let's give this a shot. Okay, deep analysis. Allow me. 15k, not too bad. Sword weakness. <laughs> Remember your weapon triangle. No, I know, right? It actually works out. Um... That's the... Ooh, not as good as I wanted, honestly. Here I come. But I do have uh, aggressive slash, so My that'll make this a lot easier. Can I just have there? I ain't gonna say no to it. Uh, let's toss another doze on here. <laughs> My turn. Let's go! And with that, I say we do a little breaking. Um, I can also just real quick increase my physical attack and defense. How this? Now it begins. Uh, slash to break. Here I come. And my Is blood this? boils. I'll end. Okay, 6k. Not too bad. Now uh, oh, he has physical attack plus. I don't like that. I do not like that. Uh, you know what? My I could honestly just keep breaking My him. Turn. I don't think he can do anything about it. 
Like, what if I just go for it right now? Yay! <laughs> Prepare yourself. Consider not being able to attack. I fight for my friends. I fight for my friends. My speed does not air. Oh wow, that's not a lot. Oh my gosh. Uh. <laughs> my turn. Mm. Okay. Um. Fifty percent should be fine. I do need SP though. Prepare yourself. Let's rest. That's all. Okay, defense My plus. <laughs> I don't care about that. Alright. So he gets two attacks now. A little scared of that, so I'm gonna go ahead and rest again, replenish my SP, and we should go for it. Nice. Full charge. Here I come. And ready to go. Uh, random foes. My play sings. Now it begins. Now it begins. Prepare yourself. I'll end this. Go. Ten left to He's still alive? <sighs> That's right. We need to do one more of those, I think. My turn. Okay. Prepare yourself. My way sings. Oh, there goes his physical plus. <laughs> Man, do I hate that. Oh, it's okay. Um... Rest and then break on the next one. My turn. Yeah! Double break. Here I come. Oh wait, what? Wasn't I charged? Uh, was I not? Well, it's okay, I guess. I fight for my friends. I do fight for my friends. Also, I wonder which of these would actually do more damage. Anything else? Magic physical damage with a sword attack five times. Apply all positive status effects on a single board and unleash a sword attack and watch the other effects in the open. Okay, let's see. Be sure to strength. Be next. I still have much to learn. Okay, that was slightly less than the guaranteed crit, but still pretty good. With one status effect. With two or more, that could be actually pretty pretty interesting. You still have much to learn. You do still have much to learn. Uh physical attack of all allies, don't need that. Dancer's Journal. I don't know how much time has passed since my teacher left, but even though no one is left to instruct me, I will continue my training. I practice the steps she taught me over and over again in the hopes that I will be able to move just as she did, and I will never forget the dance that changed my life. In memories, my teacher shines like the sun. Grand Theater on the Eastern Continent. I'm gonna become a star to change everything. When I'm rich, I can rebuild this place. I can light up every corner of this dark, dingy, leafless little town and make it shine. But I must practice. So today, tomorrow, and the day after, I will keep dancing. Why does that sound like it should be from Agnea's story? Tattered dress, tattered shoes. Are they good? Probably not, right? No? Oh yeah. <laughs> All the way down at the bottom, huh? Yep, okay, that's, yeah, that's nothing. That sure is nothing. Hmm. I feel like maybe I wasn't supposed to have beat this guy up yet. <laughs> I'm getting the feeling that I've skipped a story here. Alright, in that case, we'll come back to Eastern Sai later. Because, um, I believe now it is time to follow Particio to the end of the earth. Let's figure out what that man is up to in his chapter 2. Damn. All the way out to Andover. Across the continent. Oh, we've got one cent of commerce there, but I think we have... Yep, Cartaccio too. And I haven't yet been to Clock Bank? No way. Well, looks like we're headed there anyways. You 
Delsa has such a chill vibe. <laughs> Did we already get the thief class? I guess we did. And I just haven't used it. Yeah. Oh, inventor. Let's go see if we have anything new for the inventor. Out of my way. My turn. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> wow. <laughs> One hit. <laughs> One hit auto kill. We sure have gotten to that level. Look at that! Oh, that dude is still alive. Never mind. Um, get direct. <laughs> All right, to the inventor's place. I think it's around here. Probably. Here we are. This was the inventor, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Bring me materials. I don't think I have any of these. Oh my gosh. Wait, this is the one with the weapons. Hold on. Soldier's bow, great blade, guardian's axe. Wait, we just saw a great blade. Um. Oh, it was one of the people. Wait, wait, it was actually one of the people inside who had a great blade. I'm pretty sure. Uh, there's nothing in here. Okay. Uh, I have 13 leashes. I need a tin toy and a mythical horn. Earring and critical earring. Oh, I have one for this. Oh, nice. Okay, elemental bomb bottle. Fire soul stone, ice, thunder, rainbow glass bottle. Oh, could that be? Why, yes it is. The very materials I need for my next invention. You are truly a wonderful assistant. Thank you, I am. The birth of an invention that shall change the world, says this man. I love our car style. I gotta get to a <laughs> It's a bomb. <laughs> uh, contains compressed elemental energies. Another invention flawlessly finished. I dare say my genius is almost frightening. And now that you've seen the master at work, you know how to craft it yourself. Sure do. Thanks to all the materials you've brought me, my inventing is continuing apace. I cannot blame you for being utterly charmed by my genius. Why, why is he like this? <laughs> And speaking of, uh, but what does it do? <laughs> what does it do? I can't tell. Here we go. Uh, same type of damage as a single foe's exposed elemental weak points one time. Uh, wait, that's just straight up not useful at all. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, that's... <laughs> um... Well, that's just Mahina, but, like, worse. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's useful for anyone. I guess Hikari. That's the only person that could possibly u be useful for is, like, Hikari, I guess. That freaking sucks. Wait, hold on. Are there better items out here? Hold on. Tin Toy and Mythical Horn, I have no idea where they are, but... Scrap metal, cog, natural, magnet, something? Magnetite? And then soldier's bow, great blade, and guardian's axe. I feel like... You know what? I'm just gonna head back there because I really want to know. Was there really a great blade there? And if so... Can I take it? <laughs> I don't think I can mug someone with a level 6 difficulty, though. Like, Hikari can win against them. I don't think um, Oswald can. I feel like one of these people had a great blade. Yeah, see? Oh, he's... Oh, he's level 7, oh my god. Is he still there in the daytime? No. Freaking. Where is he? Is he still around here? It wasn't so great. Great blade. Is this the guy? No, it's a different soldier. Wait, what wasn't so great? I think I lost track of what we were talking about when that was said. What did he look like? He looks like a normal soldier. There's nothing I can do about that. Ah. Oh, the great play. <laughs> Would be funny if this guy had a guardian axe, but he doesn't. Oh, there has to be something. Uh, 
Who else can take people's items? Okay, so Oswald Muggs, um... What, what are the two nighttime stealing items? Oh, it's Agnea, isn't it? It's gonna be some ridiculously high level, isn't it? Let's go try this out. More and more reason to power level Agnea. <laughs> Hey there, my guy. How is it going? Yeah, 37. <laughs> Alright, fair. Yeah, I don't think I can beat a level 7 for sure. Hmm. Like, Hikari maybe, though. You know what? I could go in and, like, die. Just to see. Just to see how hard it is. Like, Oswald, right? Here, how can I... Can I give Oswald the merchant class and have him, like, shadow step his way to success? Like, maybe. <laughs> he can't heal himself, though. Uh, I guess rest you can heal yourself with. Hmm. This also decreases my elemental attack. Okay, I'm just gonna- I'm gonna go in and die just once. I'm not even gonna switch classes, I'm just gonna go in and die once to see how hard it would actually be to get myself this thing. Hand it over. Fool, you will pay for that, says he. I like my odds. I do not like my odds, no. actually, Oswald. You should not be liking your odds either. Fire. I need a ah. play. <laughs> ah. <laughs> what the frick? My gosh. Okay. Um. Yeah. Yeah. We we can't win here. Uh. Or can we? Uh. I mean, I could break him now, but then, like, what am I gonna do with it? You know. <laughs> Wait. I didn't even check how much HP he had. Frick. I. Okay, let's check how much HP and we'll take this as a loss, because he's gonna kill me with one hit. Oh. It's not gonna be enough. It's also not gonna be enough. Okay, I'm gonna try this. this oh gosh, I'm gonna die, I know this, but I just wanna see. Okay, nice. We are guarded, also big blade. <laughs> yeah, I want that sword. Um, <laughs> I want that sword. <laughs> Oh gosh, he gets to go twice. Oh shit. Um, that means I have to break him, actually. I have to break him and then heal. There's kind of nothing I can do about this. All according, All according to Cape Captain. <laughs> Alright, um... <laughs> this one's for me. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna die here, but that's okay. I just wanna try this. <laughs> okay. I've lived long enough that I can analyze him finally. How much HP does he have? Let me look at you. Oh my gosh. I have to survive like five whole turns. Yeah, okay, that's not gonna work. Uh... May your wounds be Okay, just kill me. He can buff his own physical offense. Mm. Holy shit. <laughs> Fun time. <laughs> Alright, now kill me. Where Here we go. <laughs> did I go wrong? He can one shot me actually, so this is uh, very much not gonna work. But I'm just- I'm thinking, like, what if I have, like, Merchant Class Oswald, right? Um, he can sidestep then. He can't grant himself VP. But, I mean, you know, like, out of curiosity. Okay, now I got, uh, what, like, lances and stuff? Yeah. Um, Elemental Barrage can kind of do some breaking if, you know, things succeed. Uh, I'll never be able to buff my magic, though. That's the problem. Here. He went to the boss application station with that big sword, but was turned away. <laughs> I'd expect that. <laughs> what story are we doing? The overlay has a habit of- Oh, oh, this is not a story. This is just me trying to skip ahead of the game. <laughs> this is me noticing that this man has a great blade, and that's one of the items I need in order to get one of the inventor things. Like, I- it, it's not even necessary. I just want to see if I can potentially mug him. I'm probably not going to succeed, but it's fun. Here, uh, let's toss a decent-ish bow on you. It's not like it matters, I'm not going to be doing great damage with this or anything. So, yeah. Uh, and then what else can we put that's, like, good? 
good, I guess. Max SP. I really don't have any other... Head Invasion Bracelets. That'd be kind of funny. If I built Oswald into an Invasion Tank. Skipping through the game, okay. Uh, yeah, I guess it's it's not really skipping, it's just, uh, like, this honestly doesn't give me any benefits whatsoever, because I do still need the Guardian Axe in order to get the invention. But, but I want the invention. Yeah, just to, like, um, explain why you're not supposed to be here at the moment. Um, so, uh... <laughs> here, wait, let's take this off first. Yeah, so, um, I, I checked what level Agnea would have to be to take his stuff, and it's level 37. So, like, I'm very much not supposed to be taking this right now. Yeah, that's definitely not enough evasion. <laughs> that is nothing. Oh my god. Okay, what else can we give him? Can we do... Oh, we can do plus 500 HP. Ooh, we can do that. Who has that? Particio? Particio. Nah. Here we are. I wish I could just take something off of someone else. Come on. Let me do it. Okay, there we go. Ugh. And then uh, we'll take this off too, maybe. Did some level 45 dungeons, and some of them are story places, and some of them are actual dungeons, yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely, um... I want to get to the places that I should be when I should be there, you know? Okay, that's 500 plus HP, so now he can't really one-shot me. It's kind of nice. I wish I had another one of these, actually. They're really useful. SP plus, uh, accuracy, evasion. Might as well have more elemental defense. Mm. <laughs> Build the characters the opposite of their class strengths and run it. Yeah, that'd be pretty fun. To be fair though, um, oh, whoops. It seems I've frozen. To be fair though, um, a lot of the stats in this game actually come from the items you have equipped. Uh, surprisingly enough. Here. What story will we be doing today? Uh, probably Particio 2. Yeah, Partitio too. Okay, I'm gonna go die to that guy again one more time. Just for fun. Okay, get wrecked. Uh, I don't know where this guy goes in the daytime. Because that would be cool. If I could find him in the daytime, then I could buy things off of him. And I'm willing to spend good money on this. Like, my guy. Please. Cover SP. Gives you more time to play and explore, heck yeah. Uh, okay, let's get ourselves some bone mail, I guess. Did someone else... <laughs> someone ask for a tank, Oswald? Bone mail. Uh... Skull helm. We have the strongs now. We have the strong. Silver shield. The tankiest Oswald you've ever seen. Physical defense 312. That's currently better than Hikari who isn't wearing anything, but still. <laughs> Alright, let's go. I'll take that. Oh, he will pay for that. I like my arts. Uh, no. axes, bows, and staff. That is weird. Um... Hunter is the one that has multi-hit bow attack. That kind of sucks. Uh, do I have any multi-hit staff or something? No. Wow, no luck. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> How much does rescue Just mean? Now? Oh shit! No. Rescues me back so much now that I have more HP. Just a moment. He can still kill me though, I think. Especially if he goes twice. Oh shit! Oh boy. Thinking time. 
Thinking time indeed. Uh, let's see what Elemental Barrage gives us. Damn it, really? Come on! No, Done. I need a let me show you. Feel my wrath. Fire. Burn. Oh my gosh. Okay. We have to do that like ten times and somehow survive. <laughs> um, iPhone application folder is currently streaming. Yeah, I know. It hasn't come back yet. I'm just sitting here waiting for it to reload. You know what? I'll just turn it off now. Usually that's enough to make it work, in it? Little did you know that the iPhone application folder was me all along again. No, I'm kidding. I'm human now, I told you. Cowboy Oswald grumbling that you made him wear such a silly thing. Listen, rest is a useful skill, okay? Oswald of all people needs to learn how to get some rest. Okay, it looks like I will have to actually turn this off and on again. So I'm gonna go ahead and wait for it to turn on. Meanwhile, we're going to continue trying our best to beat this man up. Uh, you know what? Two rests could do it. Just a moment. Never mind. Never mind, they can't. I take it all back. Uh, um... Completely restores HP to a single ally. This one's for me. This one's for me. Uh, I need a play. <laughs> Man, I wish I had a multi-hit skill. That would make this so much easier. What? Um, it's not like Merchant. Maybe it does. Does Merchant have a multi-hit? It can't, I think. Uh, Just a moment. Okay, 785. Not too bad. Oh, hey, he's going for the no. elemental. Haha, <laughs> my man. You think this would work on me? Uh, advanced magic and Alifan's wisdom give magic multi-hit. Yes, but they also run out in two turns. So like, uh, by the time I have it charged, I'm not gonna be able to use the multi-hit twice. It's a problem. I've been kind of relying on elemental barrage. <laughs> okay, just let me go twice in a row, please. please. Just a moment. I should sidestep too, that's, that's why I literally did this build. Um, I need a four. Speaking of... Oh, I don't have sidestep. I could have sworn I got sidestep. What the frick? Okay, I guess we're going back and getting sidestep. <laughs> well, it's fine. Um, I'm gonna run away and, and get sidestep and come back, but now we have a plan. This is good. Also, I'm gonna look for any staff axe or bow multi-hits in the two classes I currently have. Uh, but yeah, this is... The whole point of this is to get... Um, to rest until we build up enough steps and then sidestep our way to victory. Uh, I'm just gonna also... Uh, reload myself now while we're waiting and then learn skills. Okay, what else? Is there anything else that's useful here, I guess? Collect money, fire-based damage, single foe, that's funny. Um, one BP to a single ally. Does that work on yourself? Probably not, huh? Anyways. Mm, pay money to summon hired help. You know what? I've never really used the hired help skill, but like, it could be kind of funny. Okay, anyways, let's uh, just load myself back up. Yeah. Oh wait. Uh. Yeah. I'm back. <laughs> I'm back. Let the game continue. Okay. Uh. Donate BP. Yeah. Um. No multi hits. No multi hits at all. What the fuck? Okay. Um. Hmm. Raise the amount of HP restored to the equipping character when healed. Ha 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 ha, that is why we're here. Um, yeah, I, I straight up don't know what this does, the advanced magic master thing. Reading additional XP. Uh, equipping character's elemental attack. Reduces rate of random encounters. Okay, I'm just gonna put resilience on. I can't speak. Resilience on. We'll see if that helps a significant amount. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. Let's go. <laughs> Hand it over. It gives you four turns of sorcerer instead of three. 
Uh, what's Sorcerer? Oh, you- is that like the double hit thing? I or like my know. odds. If it's a spoiler, don't tell me. Question mark? Oh, I forgot to heal. Just a moment. Oh, now it's 1,000! Holy shit! Oh gosh, he's so powerful. <laughs> um... <laughs> it's okay. It's all good. Oh gosh, he gets to go right now. Oh shit. Oh, I don't like that. It's gonna bug. Damn it. Okay, uh, this is fine. <laughs> this is fine. Just a moment. Woo. Ignis Ardera spells. Oh, that's awesome. Thinking okay, time. I'm glad we have that. Yeah. If only we had a guaranteed multi bit. Calculations complete. You cannot hit me. Heckin' sidestep. Try again. I need a point. Try again. And now, uh, I can double cast fire. Does this work on elemental barrage? It does not, right? I think. I can double cast fire. Okay, we got two more hits. Um, if I try out an elemental barrage and succeed, that would be cool. But yeah, I feel like it would be way too OP if this managed to double cast elemental barrage. Yeah, I should have just gone with it. Oh shit. Um, right, it's only physical attacks. Uh just a moment. I need a play. Okay. Uh huh. He gets to go twice now. That ain't good. Just a moment. And that's all of no. my hits. So now we try to break him. Uh, Forever Flame, hey, how's it going? Okay, I'm gonna do a one hit staff and then a double hit um, fire. And that should break. Thinking time. Thinking one damage. <laughs> Reduce them to ash. Reduce them to ash. <laughs> In pursuit of no- Feel my wrath! Reduce them to ash. Wow, okay, so we have to do that five times. <laughs> Let's go! <No. laughs> with this build, with this build, victory is not really guaranteed, but it's like, you know, a little bit more guaranteed than it would have been before. Let's go! <laughs> Just channeled all your backseating power to help someone prepare for the OT2 final boss, so no backseating here. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Um, I, I don't usually ask for any backseating at all, yeah. I, I do prefer no backseating, but if you have any, like, you know, if, if I'm missing something obvious, feel free to let me know. Should we chance it? Should we take a risk, make mistakes, and get messy? <laughs> I think we can take a hit or two, maybe. Um, especially since I still have rest That's power on my side. Uh, okay, go for it. Suck it. Um, okay, gonna keep resting for just a bit longer until he does his less good hit. Also, Just I'm gaining BP with this. It's kind of the reason I'm doing this. Okay. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Okay, um, this is fine. This is where we bring our full sidestep barrage. You no problems here. No. Okay. And now we have some time to grant ourselves uh, as much advanced magic as we can. We're gonna ration those. Calculations complete. Okay, five. Try again. Alright. Um, this should last until he runs out. Perfect. Okay. Um, we got two left of that. So now I can either double cast Firestorm or take a chance on Elemental Barrage. Um, I think I'll take a chance on Elemental Barrage. Oh my god, nothing! Seriously? Are you freaking kidding me? Oh, I hate that. Okay, um, either way, I'm charged again. Again. Did a quest where you fight an opponent with Throne and ran out of adequate healing, so I had to use Cleaning Blow for healing. <laughs> Really? That's great. <laughs> oh no, the enemy started dodging everything. That sucks. <laughs> yeah, that's straight up freaking... Why is my luck like this? Uh, I'm gonna do it again, too. <laughs> I don't even... I don't even care. I'll rest next turn, obviously. Okay, we got two hits. Nice. That's actually worth. If I get two or more hits, I'm, then it's worth. Alright, anyway. 
just a moment. Here he goes, twice. This uses up all my side stuff. Thinking um, which is fine because I myself am ready to break. Reduce them to ash. All according to plan. All according to plan. <laughs> Let me right, show so you. Feel my wrath. Reduce them to ash. All right. If I don't mess up, this is kind of sustainable. Oh shit. Okay. Um. Thinking time. Just a moment. Rest? No. Um, only three, huh? If I wait till next turn, I get four. So I'll wait. And what to do? <laughs> we take risks when we're allowed to take risks. I could also just break him twice. Um, I could break him twice. What else? I could do a one side step back. You can. Just for fun, you know? Try again. Thinking <laughs> time. Same thing as before. Calculations complete. Okay. You cannot. Get sidestepped. Oh shit, oh shit. Okay, this is good. This is fine. This is why we have sidestep. Um, great. So I'm now gonna risk it on an elemental barrage. Only one. Four A. Okay, I am once again going to risk it on an elemental barrage. Actually, I need to get hit a little bit. Um, I need to get hit a few times. So, uh... Two random attribute raising. You're is that critical plus? <laughs> Wait, that's actually really shitty. <laughs> oh shit, okay, I'm almost there. Um, fine by me. Just Got a two more side steps too. Not too bad. I need a play. Uh, boy, am I glad there's no level limit to this. Anyways, we can break as soon as we want now. I just need to get hit one more time. Four, eight. So I'll wait no. until he uses, like, elemental or something. What else can we do? Can we buff ourselves in any other way? Mm. Two attribute raising effects on random. <laughs> I well, is that accuracy plus? Oh, it's elemental damage plus. Oh shit! I need to get hit one more time. Please hit me. Okay, he'll hit me at the end of this turn. Actually, this is perfect. This is good! Okay, um... Um... So I can't not get hit, so what else can I do? Uh... Dance magic, I guess. Calculations. Nice! Okay, charged! Let's go! Okay, uh... Here we go. Uh, break? Reduce them to ash. Alright, just out of curiosity. How much damage can we possibly do? Reduce them to ash. All right, not too bad. Not too bad. We're getting this. Oh shit. I need a Here he <laughs> Um. Okay, two more turns of plus damage. Huh? Just a moment. Sucks that we won't be able to use that for much longer, but hey, we got lucky. I'm all right with that. Okay. Uh, time for sidestep power. Actually, you know what? I feel like I should sidestep when he does his plus skill, because I do still need to get hit. I think that's a problem. <sighs> still just one? Really? Oh shit, he did his thing. Okay, okay, we're, we're sidestepping no. away. Feel my wrath. Ah. You me. Hey, get wrecked. <laughs> Man, I love this. <laughs> We could break him again, but I, I'm definitely not charged yet, so let's keep resting. Just a moment. Nice. Um, I need a play. Just a moment. I'm gaining SP. Whoa! My guy. Okay, just need to be no. hit one more time. Uh, we got just one more time step too. So not too bad. Okay, there we go. Um so now we get hit. Fine by me. No. Charged. Uh, we can actually chance a stroke of genius and see what happens. You're Let's see if I get elemental up. Nope. <laughs> is that evasion up? God freaking damn it. Why is that skill so weird? 
Oh, I hate this. <laughs> Reduce them to ash. All according to plan. All according to plan. I need to let me show calculations complete. This is sustainable. Reduce them to ash. I'm surprised that this is sustainable. Oh shit, let's go! <laughs> I've gained a valuable insight. <laughs> Heck yeah! <laughs> yeah, we're definitely not supposed to be able to beat that guy. <laughs> <laughs> a worthwhile endeavor is it though is it really um 205 we've hit the 200s accuracy minus 60. <laughs> oh we have the thing we have ochet's thing i might actually drop that on hikari now because um <laughs> let's go this is great <laughs> doing things you're not supposed to be able to do for the win heck yeah I'll uh, take some accuracy, sure, I guess. Hikari's gonna be my main damage dealer again. Because... Look at this. Look at this boy. Look at what he can do. Uh, we'll toss some more stuff on you. Uh... Is there anything here with a negative? Come on. There's gotta be something. No? Okay, well, anyways, let's take off all of these things. Um... Ooh. Go helm. Uh, bone mail. Uh... Okay. You get the... Quartz blade? No, you get the little crow. Um, and then we can just kind of, like, chill. I think. We still have the engagement bow. Um, probably want to take this off. Oh, Oswald has the best shield right now. Right. I do hate swapping things around on everyone. But it must be done. Chet, you get the best shield. Um... Take one of these. Don't need that. Uh, physical attack up at start of battle. Probably good. There we go. Hunter, thank you for the hydrate. <laughs> and the stretch too. Sure will. Yeah. And the stretch for me. How is it going, friend? I hope you have been well. Okay, and then, yeah, last but not least, I'm gonna toss. I'm gonna take that off. Wait, frick. No, come back. <laughs> this is true! How could we possibly go one more second without Bobo on our side? Here. There. It waits, patiently to be drank. Building a new miniature army? Ooh, that's awesome. Uh, okay, here's the thing, though. If I don't have too many plus physicals on, um... On no chat over here, I can end up in weird situations, because... Also, how do I- no, I'm trying to take this off. How do I just take it off? Uh, what? There has to be a way. I just did it, too. Did I not? Ah, uh, Forever Flame, thank you for the hydrate. Will do. <laughs> uh, none of these are particularly necessary, but okay, I guess we'll give- No, I'm Oh, yeah, this is necessary. Uh, okay, sure. Um... And that means you get... HP plus, I guess? I don't know. Protective bracelet? That's probably fine. Yeah, nothing else here, I think. Okay. Yeah, 
Ochad is great, but um, he kind of just has too much physical attack. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. I ain't gonna question it. I sure ain't. <laughs> Alright, onwards. <laughs> and after that completely unnecessary critical mission, onwards to a new and better land. Let's actually head on <laughs> into Partitio 2. <laughs> Man, that was so fun though. I love building things to just, um, <laughs> to just casually, like, I like doing self sustaining builds, you know what I mean? Like, use no resources and yet defeat the enemy. <laughs> Super fun. Also, merchant build is just OP on anyone. Uh... Oh, but speaking of, I think I, <laughs> I didn't reclass them. Let's toss our classes back onto the folks who need them. This is Merchant Hikari. And, uh... Where's my cleric? There we go. I'll do what I must. Alright, let's see if, now um... Now it begins. I need to get an AoE. I need to get an AoE skill here. Self-sustaining build was what made Therion so good in OT1. Yeah. <laughs> True. I never used ultimate stance, huh? Know the death of my skill. Ready? So cool. <laughs> I'm not even gonna be able to use it potentially. Right. Because now here's the goal. Lynn Merchant Company new offer: buy one death, get another free. <laughs> Wait, I actually love that. That's so good. <laughs> All right, I don't think this is gonna kill. Oh, never mind. I take it all back. <laughs> oh, that's right. We're on like easy level here. Now let's grab some food. Yeah, steel HP and steel SP pretty hard carry. That's true. Um, Aper's Reckoning. I've heard good things about. I don't think I like ever used it because you have to realize I only really picked up Therion, Alfin, and Tonit um, when I needed them, <laughs> which was for the final battle. Like I pretty much did not use them at all. When I was preparing for the final battle of OT1, I realized how completely cracked Alfin's concoct was. I was just like, oh my god, this thing is so useful. And they've literally buffed it in this game, so I am once again sad that we don't actually get to use that here, but um... Because Gusty just isn't in my main party, but it's still so cool. Come and get me. Another Merchant of Death? Yeah, you can never have too many. Ready? In fact, there's like a X of Death for every profession. Yeah, there's like a Surgeon of Death, there's um... There's Death himself, that's just Thanatos. No. Oh, Therian was your protagonist? Nice. I'm Therian's a good gone. choice for protagonist. Here I come. Alright, get ready. They're not gonna do much damage, so it's I need a play. Oh, you chose Serenade for OG2 because Therion. Yeah, that's fair. I've seen I chose Oswald snacks. because Cyrus, so. <laughs> Can't argue against that, yeah. Yeah, I like the offer, um, the buy one, get one death free offer. Top tier. You know, we should- <laughs> We should start a Hikari business trade. Oh, who are you? Hey there. <laughs> Smiling woman. She's gone. She's gone. Uh, okay, we've been here. We've been here. Chozo Chet because you love Beast Girls. <laughs> Did you like Leith then? I think we may have talked about this. Oh, oh, I see that treasure chest over there. There ain't no one getting that away from me. Hold on. Let me head northward. Yeah, look at this. Look at this. Hiding in the south corner of the. Oh, wait. Anything here? Nope. Never mind. Gimme. Mirage Bow. No, it's not even that good. Never mind. Listen, <laughs> person, we are here to hire mercenaries to fight for us. When we are a merchant company. Ah, oh, sorry, I thought you'd pay people to kill. Oh no, we will. You just gotta pay. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's how it works. We're here dealing death at a um at a very cheap price. Dirty deeds done dirt cheap, you might even say. Look at that! Alright! So cute. Uh, what does this do? What does that even do? Like, is it- oh, is it a defense? Is it a debuff? Uh, uh. 
Is it a debuff? I don't know. I love debuff skills, so I'd be okay with it if it was. I guess we already have AoE lands. We really don't need this. Now let's grab some food. Let's figure out if it's a debuff. One of the reasons you made Throne a Hunter was because cat ears. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. No, let me out. Oh, it's through the other side. Oops. <laughs> Oh, also, hold on, guys. I'm gonna do something real quick. Um, forgot about this. Uh, change grip order. Wait, not this. Go back. I'm done. Uh, where's the remapping? It's in setting. Yeah. I just want to map something real quick because my I keep using my right index finger for everything. I'm gonna use my left index finger instead. Uh, change. Uh, this one's L. Um, R. Yeah, there we go. Done. All right. Here we go. Okay. Oh. <sighs> I have to switch them. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, wait. Okay, it doesn't care. Nice. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Lefty Lynn. Uh, I am surprisingly not left-handed, although I am left-handed for some things. Curse this waterfall. I am left-handed for some things. I don't know if I ever told you guys about when I started learning pottery, but um, this one time I started learning pottery. And you see, I, I joined the class two weeks late because I didn't actually, I didn't sign up for it. I signed up for drawing. Um, but then I realized no. that with drawing, you can get homework. But if you're, <laughs> and I was like, I don't want to do homework. But if you're in pottery, they cannot give you homework because you literally don't have the little wheel at home. So I was like, oh, this sounds nice, you know, and I, I decided to take pottery instead. But when I started the class, because I had started a little bit late, no one was really there to teach me, you know? Um, and so I just kind of learned from looking at the person in front of me, right? And I was like, alright, if I just mirror their movements, I should be fine. But then I didn't really actually mirror them, I kind of just ended up doing them the same direction. So they were right-handed. Which means I learned left-handed pottery. <laughs> and yeah, I, and by the time I kind of figured out that that's what I was doing, it was too late. I couldn't switch back. What to do? What to do? Let's go! Huh? Look at that! Big beast. Uh, I literally just threw one of those away. <laughs> You went on a continent-wide hunt for the best optional boss captures. Ooh, that's fun. Yeah, I, I would definitely do that once. <laughs> once I'm done with more of the game. That's the best part about this game, you know? Um, I titled this stream The World is My Oyster because we're doing Partitio's chapters. But the world here is actually kind of your oyster. You can do whatever you want. You can salt it. You can pepper it. <laughs> you can drink boba tea. <laughs> hey! Oh, look at this quaint little town. I freaking love it. It's so cute. Hey there. Catherine, says Haggard Man. It was all a misunderstanding, but she's gone all the same. I can't imagine she's left town, but... Oh, is this truly the end? No, I simply cannot accept it. She is my everything. I get this feeling that woman I met out there. What's her name, Catherine? Was her name Catherine? Was that Catherine? Hold on, we're gonna go find that freaking Catherine again. Freaking hell. I feel like it wasn't. I feel like it was someone completely different. You love this quest? I your I'm not gonna end up finding this Catherine. No. Uh, didn't I have some item that gives you your SP back at the end of a... What to do? Was it only for someone else? Thanks. Unable to steal Let's anything. Go. Rene, why would you? Look at that! The four best are a Drake, a shark, a funky goat now thing, and a sea blob. That sounds like Octopath One too. <laughs> I appreciate the analysis though. Top tier. Okay, I just I just want to see if this lady is Catherine. Okay, like I don't I don't think she's gonna be. Um, but I don't remember her name. Ooh, free stuff. 
Never turn down free stuff while searching for Catherine. Mm. Why must I get attacked? Work. Listen, you people must know at this point that you cannot defeat me. Look at that! Literally, all they're doing is just giving me more, <laughs> giving me more things to cook up. <laughs> it freaking sucks. What if she is Catherine, though? Um, in that case, I will give her jerky. Yes, I will give her many jerkies. She's not Catherine. Actually, I can bribe her and find out if she is. I have. Oh, that's great! <laughs> uh, <laughs> a soldier who breaks the regulations of his outfit by coming to stand here every night. If his unauthorized nocturnal outings come to light, punishment will be swift and unavoidable, but that only heightens the thrill and makes it harder to stop. He sounds and looks just like a woman, but is a man. <laughs> well, this don't sound like Catherine. Uh, should I mug them? <laughs> no. It's actually pretty powerful, TBH. Rip. Felt the quest giver said Catherine can't have left the town. Oh. You mean I just read this wrong the whole time? <laughs> You're probably right. You know what? That was worth it. That was worth to find the <laughs> to find the octopath trap of legend. All right, where's this Catherine at? Actually, we're not gonna go for Catherine yet. You're gonna we're gonna do the story. Um, and as we do the story, we'll end up with Catherine. Their name could be Catherine. That's true. Do you want a hint for Catherine? Not yet, because I I haven't really started looking, so it's fine. Um. Also, I'm leaving just for a bit to see if I can find the shrine, because I think there was a shrine nearby. Yeah. Yeah, that's a shrine right there. Out of my way. Ready? Uh, let's go. I am an apothecary. Here I come. I am definitely an apothecary. Here we go. Look at that. Imagine being weak to bow and arrows. SMH. It gives you rotten meat. <laughs> what, what? Why is the item called rotten meat? What the frick? Like, that's just not good. Let me find it. It's a great quest. Well, now I am both curious and frightened. Um, what? How? Where is it? Oh, is it in the water? It's gotta be in the water. Let the experiment begin. The experiment. Clean time. <laughs> I need a plan. The slug is icky, of course the meat Let's is rotten. Go. I mean, I, that kind of, that seems to indicate that the entire creature is rotten or that. something. Now let's grab some food. Uh, yet to find the Prince of the Shrine of Thieves. You mean the Shrine of the Prince of Thieves? But yes. <laughs> Understandable. The seventh you ended up following the map. Ah, uh, nice, nice. That's fair. Oh. Um. <laughs> I don't know if this is the one you were missing or if you were missing the shrine. But um, if you want it, it's here. <laughs> yeah, same. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. <laughs> Alright, chosen thief. Unto thee I grant new power. <laughs> nice. Lol. <laughs> well, thanks, you're welcome. <laughs> uh, veil of darkness. That sounds so cool. Holy shit. What does it do? Wait, wrong one. Skills, learn skills. Okay, dark base damage all foes and dodge one physical attack with 100% success rate. Wait, that's like not good. What? What? It isn't a sidestep effect, it makes all enemies miss their. Oh! Oh shit, okay, if it makes all enemies miss, that's good. Yeah, because, like, I mean, the problem with this person sidestep is just that, like, you know, they won't hit Throne A, like, they'll hit someone else. But actually, yeah, that, that could be a very good, like, last-ditch effort, then. Also, I notice it's not limited to physical attacks, so that's pretty good. Thing is, if it's only limited to one hits, like, for example, you know that the guy we just fought, right? He does a three-hit magic hit, so, um, if this, for example, only lets you dodge one, then it's still not worth it. Oh, it is limited to physical? Never mind. Sad. Well, in that case... Oh, hey there. 
It's an apothecary. Uh, where's the bar? Where's the bar? Here it is. It's basically a super blind? Okay. Oh, then it is, yeah, it's kind of limited to physical. Although blind is also not a 100% chance to dodge, so... Mm. Anyways. Partitio. Uh, you go here. We're bringing Hikari. Yeah, where's the bar? <laughs> no, 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 I can quote Therion on this. Um, as Therion says, I only go to bars so I can hear rumors about the next place to steal from. Oh, wait, shit, I forgot I have to actually listen to the story. Wait. Look at this level disparity. Yeah, that's how this, um, it's really, really easy to level up at the end of the game in Octopath 1. Same thing here. So you really don't need to keep your characters all leveled up. Like, I feel like grinding for that is just not a good idea. You can always just level up at the end. What? Oh, here it is. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Partitio has set out on a journey to help bring prosperity and happiness to all those suffering from that devil named poverty. The first town he visits is Cloth Bank, the greatest metropolis of the eastern continent. His eyes sparkle when he arrives, for he smells opportunity. Yeah, we're, we're way too overleveled for this. <laughs> but it's okay! We're here to wreck shit and take names, and we're all out of names. Woo, boy! Is this what all towns on the eastern continent are like? <laughs> this is a world apart from what I knew back in Ors Rush. Might as well guide the guy with the quest in case you accidentally find Catherine. Oh, I thought you had to bring Catherine to mm. him. You have Sent to bring him to Catherine? Calm. Thanks. I'll go ahead and use Temenos and guide him. Right, now then, might as well... Actually, I don't remember if I already have somebody important on Temenos. Here, wait, this is the guy. Yeah, can't imagine she's left town. I did read it wrong. Nice. Please, reunite me with my dear Catherine. Okay, alright. I'm taking your stuff first, my friend. Uh, let me go get... I guess I could Partitio him. Who do I currently have on Partitio? I don't know one. Oh. Oh, you don't get to keep that dude, the other dude? Earn 15 to 30% more from sales. It's not bad, actually. Let's work up a nice sweat. You know, um... I mean, hey, while I have him, I might as well sell some stuff. <laughs> to the industrial district. Looking for Catherine. Is your name Catherine? No! Oh shit, he's actually kind of strong looking. <gasps> he has a good staff! He has- No, come back! Where is he? Mm, I can't- I can't steal your stuff if it's in the daytime. You know, he's a level 7. We've just proven we can defeat level 7s. Um, maybe not magician level 7s though, yeah. Okay, he's just gonna multi-hit AoE, um... Or not AoE. He's just gonna multi-hit me until I die. Alright. Is your name Catherine? No. Why is everyone gone during the day? What the heck, man? <laughs> Lawyer is strong and he's a magician. Yeah. <laughs> he's just, um... He's just an ace attorney character. That's what he is. <laughs> what? Come on. I failed. 84. Again? 84. <laughs> well, Tell me your secrets. Okay, good. Uh, recruited from a blacksmith workshop. Came here with his wife. Astonishingly picky eater. And he has a decent ish dagger. And a cool shoe. I'll take that. I will take that. New equipment for that. Nice. We're also looking, by the way, for a guardian axe. Well, so if I ever miss it and somebody has a guardian axe, please let me know. Uh, oh, that's good. I'll take that. I'll take that. Wait, no. Come back here. Uh... What's the... <laughs> he used to be a good man, but now he's not. Bad. I'm taking your stuff. <laughs> okay. And a hidden item, sure. Is your name Catherine? No. What's the... Why is his voice so secretive? 
constant bragging about how important his father is has left him friendless. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> hey, kid. How does it feel to have all your stuff I'll taken take. from you? And including your hidden item. Which, speaking of, I don't think this is the right hidden item, but it's okay. Also, what's this guy's quest? I'm a descendant of the royal line, says he. Ancestors of royalty in the northern brightlands or something. No one believes me. Not a soul. If only I had some sort of proof. I ain't got no proof for you, my friend. But I can read Whoa. your heart. Uh, these claims are not lies, however. He at least believes them sincerely. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I'm taking his stuff. I'll take that. Stop getting drunk, my friend. Royal descendant sweetheart. Are you Catherine? Whoa. <laughs> Though fully aware that he is average and unremarkable, she admires how passionately he values his family. However, she's uneasy with his obsession about his royal lineage. <laughs> hey, don't fall for a loser like that. Come with me instead. No, I'm kidding. Um, this guy's name isn't Catherine, is it? Scrap metal. That sounds like it could be useful for something. What's this? <laughs> a sly factory worker who is masked. Oh wait, freaking. Ah, there we go. Who has managed the art of pushing his stuff onto other people. That's pretty awesome, TBH. Ain't gonna question that. Okay, I think I have better... Actually, I don't have a better axe than this. Eh, not worth it. Anyways, we came here to sell. Um... Yay! <laughs> Good money. Let's go! Yeah, I never sold the Purse of Hope, do not worry. Wait. Uh, Chosa Maya, hello! Wait, wait, come back. Okay. <laughs> 1300 is not worth the moral value, for sure. Gotta pay close attention now. There we go. Yeah, okay. All right there, Haggard boy. We haven't been able to find anyone that you're looking for, unfortunately. Maybe What's this guard's this? name is Catherine. The worker's wins. He has I'll too much energy. That. I'll take some of it for him. Is this the executive himself? It is. Ah. I'm taking his money. Probably has too much what? of it anyways. Discount at the end. <laughs> yeah, apparently he's like a shitty boss, so that's okay. What about this guy? What's this? Uh, got the position through parental con- Okay, yeah, you don't need this. <laughs> Go away or I'll call the guards. Oh wait, I am a guard. I'll take- Yeah, I'll take that. <laughs> Uh, new treasure is available somewhere. Oh, then. I thought the real treasure was the Catherines we met along the way. Is this the door? It is. Catherine could be somewhere at night, but I guess we'll get there during the night. Oh, who are you? What's there? Unemployed man. Got the sack a few months ago for punching the president's secretary. Holy shit. Uh, you know, I feel bad for him. <laughs> <laughs> also, how do I get down there? I can see it. Oh, there's like a cat there too. Cute. This is unacceptable. You will pay, and you will pay in full. Huh? I can't afford to spare the leaves. I just paid taxes, and I'm squeezed tight as it is. <laughs> Damned kids. Don't understand the way the world works. The Rock Company is kind enough to provide for you. That puts you in our debt. The Rock Company? You live in this town, you must pay taxes. Adult or minor, there are no exceptions. You won't see a leaf from me. My younger siblings will starve without this money. 
I don't want to have to break your knees, kid. Oh shit, but, let's not be breaking uh, any knees here. Whoa there, fella. I think I've heard enough. Do we get to fight him immediately? Extorting money from a youngster? That looks you ought to be bad. ashamed of yourself. <laughs> it sure did. It's been cutscene the way, you though. You got lucky, kid. But I'll be back. Everyone pays their dues eventually. A Lannister pays their Remember debts. That. Or something like that. Is it a Lannister always pays their debts? I don't you know. I read right, the books. Sir? I didn't watch the TV show. You earn all those leaves yourself? <laughs> My hat's off to you. Run along now. Thanks, yellow guy. Yellow guy. <laughs> Particio's like, yo, that's my name now. I'm Yellow Guy. Oh, who's that? It looks like Tressa. Is she a news reporter? You there! Yes, you! I saw the whole thing! Mysterious man in she yellow is. coat I freaking chases called it. off villainous rock company collector! Oh, what a scoop! I can see the headline now. Also, she's very loud. <laughs> Excuse me, uh, who are you? They dressed her perfectly. Oh, my apologies. Here's my card. When you can tell their professions from just their outfits, you know they've done well. Ori Scrivener for the Delsta Times. Wait, we aren't in New uh, Delsta. Is this supposed to be? You're a funny one. Why not just tell me who you are? I'm right here. <laughs> uh, that's my business card, is why. Uh, but what's a business card? <laughs> <laughs> huh? That's what this is called. Yeah, yeah, we are a little bit close to New Delta, but I mean, eh, this is Clock Bank. They don't well, have their own little city Rush times or something. Used for something like this. My oh my! I guess these aren't in vogue out in the West. <laughs> in vogue. Ah, uh, don't tell me you don't have newspapers either. Here you go. Today's Gazette. Oh boy. So this is a newspaper. You here in the East have some <laughs> wild ideas. Oh, I love how completely clueless he is. <laughs> but like, I mean, hey, it makes thanks. total sense. I'll give it a read for sure. They probably didn't need a newspaper all the way back there. By the by, what's this rock company I just heard about? Why, it's the enterprise owned by the world famous business tycoon Rock Brilliant. Mm. Aha, I thought it'd be tied to Mr. We rock go. somehow. Rock made a name for himself Mr. after coming rock? out here. Uh, <clears throat> the Rock Company was established eight years ago and grew at an astonishing pace. Curse you, Ori, for cutscening us away from cat. the largest business concerns in the world now. <laughs> Lol. Everyone's heard of it. Yeah, don't you hate it when you get cutscened away from a good thing? The steam engine. The steam engine. I want to see the train. Come on. Steam engine. So Mr. Rock was right. The steam engine wasn't just a tall tale after all. I'm assuming they're using it in the factory. Heckin' awesome. <laughs> Revisions, textiles, you name it. This whole town runs on steam power. Even the distribution of our humble paper is all thanks to the power of steam. Do they have a printing press? It's made they the must. efficiency of manufacturing and transportation go up, up, up! It's caused an industrial revolution! Holy. Wow, what a history lesson. <laughs> Thanks to his timely investments, Rock Brilliant is now one of the wealthiest people in the world. I wonder if they have, like, fire mages for starting the light and stuff. That'd be kind of cool. <laughs> huh? What's with the gloom and doom face? That's right, he may be a little if suspicious. he's making so much, this whole town should be wealthy and prosperous. Mm. So why do I see so many poor folk on the street corners? Aha, capitalism, my friend. In this town, every industry and person who benefits from the steam engine is taxed. Even the poor have to pay a heavy tax burden. No one around here is willing to oppose the rock company. Fortunately, we have a force of eight that can destroy mountains if they want to. I've made up my mind. I'm gonna go see Mr. Rock. Yeah, reject capitalism, return to capitalism. That's pretty There's much what we're doing. I've been actually. meaning to ask you. <laughs> Excuse me. I mean, so far, Particio's been a little socialist, me. I think. 
<laughs> oh, pardon. Didn't mean to be rude. I mean, he's like he's like vaguely capitalist, I guess. I'm a traveling merchant, name of Particio. Here, this is my business card of sorts. A silver coin? <laughs> Thanks for the info. Our merchant company will rule supreme. Heck yeah. We're merchants, but the chant is actually short for uh scenario. Peddler Particio, <laughs> sensor, steam tycoon rock. <laughs> Already know. Good, good. I was right. My journalistic intuition never fails me. Ori, no, stop. You're making us into wanted men and we haven't even gotten like five steps into the, the city. Horizon. Ah, you're right. I missed the T. It's cat piddleism. <laughs> Wait, hold on. That would mean we sell cats. That's an issue. This is Mr. Rock's factory, huh? They seem to want to roam freely so far. Steam engines here. I don't know if y'all have played Triangle Strategy, but there are cats hidden throughout the game, and I think if you pet all of them, you get like a little tiny short story or something. Wait, I need to run one more test, just to be sure. With a name like Floyd, heck yeah. Theoretically, it should improve output efficiency by 400%. Oh my gosh, he's an engineer. All we need now is a boiler that can withstand the high pressures and... Hey there, can I handle the business side? <laughs> Oh there. You okay? The cats are our business associates. Um... That's, sorry. I was just um thinking it. Yeah, we, we run a store. The Try Kates are careful. both our product associates and the sellers themselves. Oh, uh, by the by. You know where I can find Mr. Rock? He's in there somewhere, isn't he? Rock? You mean the boss? No? I'm sure he'll be in the company office. Company office? Increase boilerplate thickness by three, no, four times. And... <laughs> Write some of that down, my friend. You're going to forget it. <laughs> that fella's going to walk right into a wall. Well, company office. Got it. I'll just have to go pay a visit. All right. Let's go pay a visit. Oh, we get warped right in? Hey, that guy looks like Miles Edgeworth. If I may intrude. Oh, that's Thurston? Wait, did he take his hat off or something? Was he wearing a hat before? Tax collection is going... Wait, he straight up has Miles Edgeworth hair. Raising the labor tax has increased... Just another engineer doing rate. engineer things, pretty much. <laughs> However... Walking around, hitting walls. <laughs> to squeeze more from this town. Increasing boilerplate thickness by three, Good. no, four times. <laughs> this town and all of the bright ones have transformed thanks to the steam engine. Okay, but like, Rock didn't invent the steam this engine, so who did? The, beginning. the steam engine will soon change the world. It will cause a revolution. If we can mass produce these devices, global industry will advance by leaps and bounds. You truly are a visionary, sir. Ah, uh, yes. Another yes, man. <laughs> Wealth is a very honest thing, you know. Is it, though? Is it really? Its true value cannot be realized in the hands of the undeserving. See, in Oswald's story, we just burnt, like, an but entire room full of gold coins. Worthy, it can change the world. And in COTC, we just, uh, did a good amount of beating up of a guy who lives in a palace filled with gold coins. They form an entire waterfall. I guess he doesn't really live there, but he's kind of close. All right, we already stole everything from him. Let's head in. Howdy there. Name's Particio. Uh, mind showing me to Mr. Rock's office? M Mr. Rock? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry I didn't make an appointment, but I'm sure he'll see me if you give him my name. Um, I, I'm sorry, but I cannot allow you to pass. Aw, come on, man. Just tell him I said hi. I'm an old friend of your boss. Looking to have a word with him. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but he is not on the premises. He literally I... is. We just saw him. Mm, not here, huh? Shucks. 
Oh well. Oh come on, let's break through. Sorry for the bother. Here, for your trouble. Of course, Partitio doesn't know that, but still, let's break through. What is this? A silver coin? Why is he so disappointed? Free silver. With maybe Partitio's face on it or something? Like at least a stamp? Now, I never said a word about going home. So, I might as well take a gander around the factory till Mr. Rock gets back. Ah. It's a good idea, actually. Let's overthrow the economy! Yeah! Danger level 18. <laughs> SMH. Do we dodge falling, uh... Oh. So this is a steam engine. <laughs> Do we dodge falling mechanical parts or something? Steamy, huh? <laughs> Guess that makes sense. Mr. Rock, you really are changing the world. Okay, but like, he didn't invent it. Like, who invented it? Oh, this one looks different from the rest. Uh, is that smoke? Uh... It's dangerous! Get away from there! Uh... Yeah, it's probably Floyd. Oh, shit. Are you alright? That device isn't finished, so... Um... It looks like increasing the thickness of the boilerplate oh. didn't work out, huh? Uh, I'm fine. <laughs> Sorry to make a ruckus. Oof. Huh. Aren't you that fella from before? Sure am. Uh... I'm sorry. Have we met? He straight up has no idea. You know what? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Uh, you said this ain't finished yet? Speaking of which, speaking of which one? Oh, yes. Conventional steam engines are extremely difficult to produce. That's why I'm researching and developing a way to simplify them for mass production. Huh. If we can mass produce the steam engine, the world's manufacturing capability will expand tremendously. More goods means more business. True. That's right. Prosperity for all and all shall benefit. <laughs> That's my dream. Heck yeah! I think I've taken a shine to you, fella. I'm with you all the way. And this guy's like, literally, who are you? <laughs> really? Thank you so very much. He showed up? Who is he? Oh, you mean this dude. <laughs> but In still which case, a yes. <laughs> yeah, speak of the devil. We need to drastically reduce costs to realize our dream of mass production. Reduce costs, huh? However, I'm worried that compromising on quality will result in dangerous boiler safety issues. Yeah, I mean, exploding steam engines could be a good weapon, scenario, but, um, oh, actually, boom, it could be huh? a good weapon. Hey, like I can bring a guy happened? named Arkar over here. He'll help you with Precisely. this. Precisely. Accidents like that will only cause promulgation of the engine to screech to an ignominious halt. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, in short, you need a cheap and safe material to make your doodad with, right? I have scrap metal. I have a whole bunch of scrap metal, actually. It shouldn't be a problem for me. I'll find you a supply straight away. You, you will? But how? <laughs> Who are you? Who are you? <laughs> Particio. Traveling merchant at your service. I hope you don't mind me lending a hand to make your dreams come true. Oh shit, he's got style. <laughs> Imagine if someone walked up to you and said that. My man here. Boiler material, huh? Just any metal won't do it, that's for sure. What? You mean I can't use my scrap metal? Come on. Cheap, durable. I should ask around at the arms and armor shops in town. I, I have some. I have some already. <laughs> I'm getting more excited than a hound with a bone. Also, Particio, everything you're doing here is only going to directly help Mr. Rock. This is kind of an issue. Particio, no, don't let yourself get scammed. You're helping the wrong people. Also, I can't not scrutinize Floyd. Well, no. Young genius who perfected the Neo steam engine, or so he hates to be called, seeing as it was his grandfather who completed the original steam engine and his father who polished the basic theory behind it, he knows better than anyone that he is simply standing on the shoulders of giants. Holy shit, this man is Celebrimbor. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this man is Celebrimbor and Mr. Rock is Sauron himself. <laughs> I see the connections. 
Yeah, but he's old friends with Mr. Rock. Oh, yeah, 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 Hunter. So, um, in the first half of this story, in the first half of Partitio's story, you find out that Mr. Rock potentially scammed, uh, potentially, we don't know this for sure, but he potentially scammed, um, Partitio's dad out of, like, pretty much an entire town. Just getting some free stuff first before we head on in. But yeah, so so we kind of a little bit don't trust Mr. Rock, but then again, he did also invite um, Partitio to come with him. Uh, I'm trying to get up to the, the area on the top over there. There's like a little place below the side. That's where the free stuff is. I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna find it and I'm gonna take their stuff. It's not here. Damn it. I thought there might be like a passageway up or something. Also, I did not change the story chapter. Hold on. Bam. This is Partitio 2. <laughs> and Floyd gets current fave. <laughs> also, where the frick? Um. Oh. Oh, there was a stair right here. I just didn't notice. Are you Catherine? Oh, shit. Um, wait, come back. Are you... <laughs> Is your name Catherine? <laughs> Bringing up Lord of the Rings right after you started playing Shadow of War again. Oh, Shadow of War. I like the, um, I like the interpretation of... Well, of Celebrimbor in Shadow of War, actually. It's pretty nice. They, they make him a little more edgy than I would have liked, but it does make sense. Um, he was tortured to death by Sauron. So, understandable. Stole treasures of every description as the world's greatest phantom thief, but these days she tries to stick to less flamboyant crimes. Yikes! This 62-year-old woman is up to some shit. Can't be mad about that. Alright, anything through here? <laughs> well, well, I'm impressed you found this place. Uh, is this a thieves' guild? Oh, it is. <laughs> They're all gone by... Of course they're all gone by daytime, that makes total sense. Uh, Magus Knife? I could get that. Strength 4. I'll take that. Yeah, I'll freaking take that. You can't mug a mugger? Oh yeah, try me. I like my odds. Uh, oh shit, I don't have the merchant build. Uh, uh I should have gotten the merchant build, whoops. Damn it, frick. Oh, never mind, he's weak as frick. This is fine. Um, gonna analyze, just check Let out on the beast. Only 2k. Yeah, not a problem. Try again. Wait, he straight up can't hit me? Please. Uh... <laughs> Pierce the rings of frost. Okay, at least we got one. Hey! He straight up takes my money! What? <laughs> no, hold on. <laughs> Come back here. This ain't right. <laughs> I want one more weakness, just for fun. A staff all along? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Wait, no. you can't mug me? That's illegal. Yeah, pretty much. I can kill him with one hit. Get wrecked. Harder. Study harder. The dude's like, I've never been to school in my life. <laughs> what are you talking about? Okay, I got a minimally good knife. Hey, kid. He's a small kid. I have a an orphan child who holds, who holds his own among adult thieves, oh shit. Shows an innate talent for sneaking and pilfering, despite no one have ever taught- Wait a minute, isn't this the thief from Partitio's story? Interesting. Wait, is this- is this the kid? Is he a thief? Is that what this is? God damn it. Kid. Kid, hey. <laughs> I thought you were an upstanding young citizen. <laughs> Please don't tell anyone about this guild. Sure won't. Now this one, this one I can't get, can I? Uh, and lightning necklace. Those are decent. Necklace is the highest level, isn't it? And, uh... I could definitely beat a six if I wanted to. But I'd have to set up for it, and I'm too lazy to do that, so, eh. Oh, the kid is Will, this is the thief? Ah, oh, okay. Phew. You mean Will is an upstanding young citizen? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I actually, I have no idea. Um, it could be that they're the same person, it could be that they aren't. I literally don't know. 
20% off purchases. That's pretty good. Wow. These get better and better with time. Alright, anyways. Guild found. I'm gonna head over to the story. I'm pretty sure I already collected the strap metal here. Is there not anything else, is there? Hey, excuse me. Welcome. We carry a wide range of arms and armor for our discerning martial clientele. That's nice. I want metal. Howdy, friend. Mind if I pick your brain? Know any metals heat resistant and durable against impact? I'm looking for something tougher than iron. Like steel? A metal tougher than iron? <laughs> if I did know of such a thing, I'd be a wealthy person indeed. Uh, figured. Hey, hold on a second, buddy. What about this? I've got crates of the stuff I could sell to you. It's called clockite, a metal whose tensile strength increases the hotter it gets. Clockite? <laughs> sure, I'll Makes take it. it. <laughs> stronger than iron in certain circumstances. Oh, but with heat, that actually works out quite well, well for this particular application. Also, Specky, hello. Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, Useless people from Specky's stream. It is lighter than iron, however, so it's mainly used in the manufacture of clock components. And also, Hence this city is called Clockbank, so we called it Clockite, so you can keep your metal straight. It's harder the hotter it gets, huh? Take it, take <laughs> it, take it. I think it's worth a shot. I sure do. Now, is he gonna ask me to front the money? Because, um, I'll have you know, I'm not willing to invest too much in this. Oh, I just get the free Clockite? Sweet. Let's go. <laughs> Did you know we like clocks in this town? It's giving me Termina vibes all over again. <laughs> if anyone here has played Majora's Mask. Also, heckin' Majora's Mask. I love that game so much. The material cost of mass producing the steam engine would be, but compromising the quality means that the safety of the boiler would... I can help you with that. Uh, Floyd! I Oops. What is it? Brittle at room temperature, but gets tougher the hotter it gets. Or so I hear, anyway. This mechanical engineer did not take Your his materials classes. Your engine always jumping hot, right? Don't that make this a good fit? Oh, that's a good point. Let's give it a shot. <laughs> and now it will take two months to manufacture the correct pieces, send them off to the machinery, and get them back in time. So I'll see you later, Partition. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Failure. Aw, really? Do they need something that bends oh, instead of, you know, just holds its shape? You were right about this metal. In fact, it can be more durable than also, I Also, are clocks even hot? <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> However, it's tricky to work. Far be it from it me to measure the uh, cool. temperature or attractiveness of a clock. <laughs> but it's too no, hard to shape once you heat the I, I feel like maybe, like, friction inside a clock? Yep. That might be it. I don't know. <sighs> that is a rub, ain't it? Sorry, Floyd. No, it's me who should be apologizing. I wish I could have made it work somehow. How oh, rats. I guess ideas from a layman like me ain't good enough to make this work. No, no, no. More ideas the better. Some of them might end up Wait working quite second. well. What if we had an expert? I just need to bring us someone who knows their way around clock eye tinkering. Oh, like the dude at the armory? Problem is, who'd know how to work the stuff? Oh, not the dude at the armory. That guy had no idea. Huh, a clockmaker, of course. That's their job. We sure like clocks in this town. All right. <laughs> I've got a solid lead. All right. Oh, travel banter. What are you up to there, Throne? Wait, hold on. Hmm? Just browsing for attire. Ooh, get up, Gazin. I get ya. You're always dressing real fashionable like. A fine compliment coming from a merchant with such a sharp eye for quality. So, what sort of rags do you fancy? I'm afraid the answer is a bit complex. 
To me, clothing is like a painting. A part of the maker's soul and artistic sensibilities is woven into each piece. And nothing fits me quite as well as a garment tailored by a kindred spirit. Wow, I never gave a pair of trousers that much thought before. You learn something new every day. You seem to have a fine sense of dress yourself. What sort of clothing tickles your fancy? Heh, <laughs> that's easy. A merchant's garb's gotta be durable first and foremost. So you choose garments based on textile thickness? That's part of it, sure. Thing is, clothing's durability is determined by stitching. See here, my shirt? The seams are doubled up, right? That's called twin needle stitching. Requires a deft hand to do, but it won't tear on you. Seems like this tell a lot of love went into its making. The crafter wanted someone not to just wear it, but to care for it. You don't say. I never thought to look at clothing from that particular angle. Particio, why don't you join me on my next shopping trip? Sure, partner. I'll help you pick out some stylish duds. <laughs> That's actually freaking hilarious, and I love it. <laughs> a clockmaker and clockbang to turn clockite the clock metal into clocks? <laughs> I wonder where we could find something like that. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, straight up Termina. I can't wait for the clock festival. <laughs> How impressive are these steam engines exactly? <laughs> According to Mr. Rock, they possess power never seen before. His words, not mine. Never seen before, you say. Hmm. What's got your brow wrinkling, Hikari? The strongest person in Ku is a man named Benkei. Do you think these steam engines are stronger than he? Your guess is as good as mine, partner. From the way Mr. Rock was talking, though. Sounds like just one could win a tug-of-war contest with a whole gaggle of oiled-up musclemen. So, as strong as five Benkeis, perhaps? Uh, not ten Benkeis, easy. Uh, astounding! Then they are truly formidable machines. <laughs> <laughs> Hikari, <laughs> Hikari, I love you so much. <laughs> but like, <laughs> are we gonna change the word horsepower to Benkei power? Because <laughs> that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Partitio's like, all right, okay, I'm gonna help you with this machine, but the um, the requirement for my aid is that we must call all minutes of um, <laughs> all methods of engine measurement. <laughs> we must call them all Benkei power. Hey there, bro. Whoa. Well now, masterful clockmaker who uses an electric... <laughs> a masterful clockmaker who utilizes clockite to make extremely lightweight yet durable clocks and clock bank. <laughs> He's always on the lookout for new technologies, huh? Nice. Hmm. Suspicious. Very suspicious. Come with me. Uh, also, we haven't found Catherine yet. Damn it. Uh, oh wait, after you part ways, your current companion will return. Sure. You're just... Come with me, friend. And goodbye, haggard man. Alright, let's go. I brought you a clock maker. Really, do clocks actually get hot, though? Like, I, I don't know. <laughs> I bet they could, you know? Like, they probably could get hot, maybe. Oh, look, a guy I haven't robbed yet. Hold on. Eh, not worth. He's just a normal employee going about his... God damn it, let me in the door. Let me the freaking there we go. <laughs> so why is this danger level 18 if there hasn't been an enemy here yet? Hmm? Floyd, sorry to keep Suspicious. you waiting. Suspicious. Also, does that mean Floyd uh, is level Patricio. 18? And this is Meet our clockmaker. Dun dun dun. A uh, clockmaker? <laughs> Clockites used to make clocks. Makes sense when you think about it, huh? Sure does. <laughs> In other words, he can work the stuff. Hey, stop talking about him like he isn't here. Yep. This fella can bend that metal however you'd like. Anyway, we'll let you get to it, old timer. <laughs> Temperature control is key to working clockite. Overall, it's quite a simple process. Watch and learn, and you'll master it in no time. Pass down your skills, yes, old man. Sir. We did it, Particio. Oh, ooh. Wow, it actually kind of looks cool. With this new process, 
we'll be able to mass produce steam engines. I'm gonna go tell my boss and get a better salary. <laughs> Looks like the world's one stop further along on the road to prosperity. Yeah, he's definitely still being taken advantage of. My dream is one step closer to coming true, too. It's all thanks to you, Patricio. Floyd, no. <laughs> oh, weren't nothing. Now, let's crack open a bottle to celebrate. Okay, but like, actually, Patricio, come on. Get like 10% commission or something, please. Please, my guy. Take some money from this. You're a merchant. Ah. <laughs> It's been a long road. My master was the one who invented the first steam engine, you know? I thought it was your father, or grandfather. We hailed from a coal mining town, past its prime. Our mines had all been exhausted, and times were tough. Yeah, I, I inquired we already. to find a way to revitalize our dying town. Oops. That's when my master came up with the idea for the steam engine. But we didn't have the capital. And our research stalled at the development phase. <laughs> Slaps a roof of car 100 That's years in the Mr. future. Rock showed up, wasn't it? <laughs> this baby has 300 Benkei we power. Owe him so much. <laughs> he invested in us, employed us. It's great because Benkei, um, so Hikari talks about Benkei. Uh, Benkei is the finally, Lancer, I think, who gave his life potentially. I think he's results. still alive, but he like definitely almost sacrificed himself to help Hikari escape. To me, so he definitely deserves it. If He's a good guy. If we mass produce the steam engine, the world's manufacturing capability will expand. What a way to get your friend to live on in infamy. <laughs> Prosperity for all, and all will benefit. You said. And that's what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to kill steam the devil will we call my poverty. Hometown, and all the other places out there that share its fate. Oh yeah, he's from a coal mining town. Yeah. It prove all your master's blood, sweat, and tears were worth it, huh? That's adorable. It'll happen, Floyd. It'll happen. I believe. Only because of your help, Particio. Ah, shoot. It's about time for the boss to come by for his inspection. Oh, here we go. Oh, you're going to see Mr. Rock? Can I tag along? Of course. I'll go on ahead. Hmm. <laughs> I'll let him know you want to see him. Come by whenever you're ready. No, don't let him know. Don't let him know. I suspect him. Uh, hey there, can I have the bill? <laughs> no need for change. I'm feeling generous today. <laughs> Barkeep is like, you'll be back to re improve your reputation soon enough, don't worry. <laughs> Freaking Ori! <laughs> I, I didn't notice her there. I straight up did not see her. Was she there the whole time? Holy shit. Travel banter. Whoa there, Oswald, easy on the coffee. Why are you drinking this stuff in a tavern, anyway? Alcohol numbs the mind and slows the wits. So you do it for the science and stuff. That's a lot of latitude. Wait, does this mean that strapping physique of yours is also all for the science? Of course. Every good scholar possesses a trifecta of strength. Discipline, stamina, and willpower. <laughs> Regular exercise is an indispensable aid for improving all three. Holy! I knew there was a good reason for all those muscles. Speaking of which, you are lean but strong with not an ounce of wasted sinew. How do you train? Me? I just work hard and the muscles come along for the ride. The triumph of practical application over theory. You have given me valuable insight today. <laughs> the maximum output of a Benkei can be up to 15 Benkei power. Does that mean we have to divide all future and past Benkei applications by 15 in order to make the math work out? It's unfortunate, but a Benkei is a variable unit of strength. <laughs> How then can we use it? <laughs> no, you know what? Actually, it depends on whether or not Benkei has the power of friends on his side. If he does, then 15 Benkei power, right? But if not, then only one Benkei power. <laughs> also, yeah, <laughs> no, the physique is for mugging people. Partitio's like, how'd you get all that muscle, Oswald? And Oswald's like, I beat people up for five years in jail. <laughs> I cracked rocks on a desert. Wait, no, it wasn't a desert. I cracked rocks on a frozen isle. There we go. <laughs> I guess it could have been a desert, actually. Some deserts have snow in them, you know. That steam engine we finished. It was right here. Somebody stole it. Holy shit. Where could it have gone? I don't see Floyd around either. Did someone kidnap Floyd? No, I love Floyd. 
You there, what are you doing here? Not kidnapping Floyd. Oh, hold on a sec. There's a good explanation for this. <laughs> no, there's not. Intruder! Okay, fair. Intruder alert! <laughs> there's a good explanation for this. No, there's not. <laughs> it's actually really funny. My <laughs> turn. Uh, anyways. <laughs> So anyways, I started stealing. Um, I don't have any SP donate skills, right? Yeah, Barry don't have that. Yeah, okay, fine. Looks like we're gonna have to use an Inspiriting Plum because I totally forgot to give Oswald Come anything. Here, hope. I'm just getting warmed up. I'm just getting warmed up. Uh, cure status, dodge sand. Okay. We can summon the Haggard Man. Heck yeah. Antarctica is a desert, yeah. Okay, lances, as expected. And speaking of lances, we've got the best one here. Uh, do I have a double hit lance? I feel like I don't. Yeah. Yeah, okay, fine. Fire. Get wrecked. I need a plan. I really- I don't need to. These guys are not gonna be that powerful. Fire. Yeah. <laughs> I'm expecting. Oh darn. <laughs> Something smells fishy. Also, um, uh, are we gonna get in trouble for beating up these two guards? They were kinda just doing their job. <laughs> Make for the back of the factory? Heck yeah. And here comes our danger level introduction. 18, you say? That's no problem for me. What to do? Oh, we don't have Ochet, so we have to like actually kill things because we don't have the inventor class. Oh, you know what? I could put inventor back on Hikari, can't I? No, wait, but I like the merchant build too much. Uh I'll do merchant Hikari. No, wait, I'll do inventor Hikari until this is over and then we'll go back to. Cause that'll make this a lot easier. Prepare yourself. No, 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 go back. Oh, I can't go back, right? <laughs> Cause I remapped my controls. <laughs> Whoops. Don't worry, Oswald will mug the incriminating documents for us. Probably a fair assumption, actually. Like NGL, I think that might actually be it. Hydrate for me, sure will. My turn. Eh. Let's just toss a few hits on this guy and I'll take a drink. Thinking time. You know, I really like having merchant as a class. Strike them down. Study harder. Cause like SP regen, just automatic SP regen is so nice to have, especially on someone like Oswald. And I could have sworn I had a skill or something that lets you, um, regain something, I, what was it? Deal more damage. Uh, additional money. Hmm. Okay, let's learn a few skills on you at least. Uh, donate BP, of course. Uh, hired help, just for the memes, maybe. Ember, fire-based damage, don't need that. Collect, sure. And why not do the last one and get the last, uh, oh, third skill, uh, yeah, okay. Hang off! I remember that one. Okay, let's toss something on you. More money after battle, sure. One BP at the start, nice. Uh, and then, yeah, the miracle skill, essentially. What was the item? It was definitely an item that did that. Could have sworn. Something something, regain SP. Uh, yeah, hired help is quite good. I just, I don't like spending money. <laughs> Was it an item? No, I know what all these are. Uh... Yeah, I'm just gonna go through this list here and make sure it isn't something I'm not equipping at the moment. Yeah, 
would have been there. What was it? What the hell was it? Was it a job skill? No, it can't be, because then I would have had it already. Well, anyways, I said I'd go inventor Hikari and let's do it. Okay, let's go. And, um, you know what? We have that. Let's use merchants to resuscitate Oswald. Oh. <laughs> if I'm gonna do that, probably need to swap my items around, huh? Oh no, people outside the party have all my good items. <laughs> God damn it. Uh. Okay, it's alright. We'll be going back to normal Hikari soon enough. I need to stop doing that, don't I? Free stuff. Money! I don't know what else I expected here. Any doors or something? Out of my way. Now it begins. Now it begins. Um, I wanna say Sword was my strongest. No quarter. Because we have the Great Blade now. <laughs> For the pride of Ku. <laughs> and this is why we have Hikari. Oh, Chet can do the same thing. But with slightly more aid. Oh, there he is! There he is! No! You promised me! Oh, no. You said you'd help me bring the steam engine to impoverished towns that need it. What did I tell you, Floyd? What did I tell you? Perhaps we made that promise, verbally, non-binding. Ah, always get it written in a but contract. But you haven't forgotten the contract you signed with us, have you? All intellectual property rights related to the steam engine will pass to the rock company in return for provision of research funding. Called it. <laughs> the rock company owns all rights to your steam engine. Honestly, so relatable. <laughs> I'm sure our mutual boss will be delighted to hear that you've invented a better model. I too have done things that do not belong to me. We have no intention of letting anyone else benefit from our property. Although, at least in my case, I get compensated for it. Come on, but, Floyd. But... Forget your silly dreams, Floyd. They're not needed here. Silly? Uh, I won't stand for that. Heck yeah, Floyd! This research can bring prosperity to people all around the world. Come on, Floyd, punch him! Technology exists to make life better for people. That's what gives it value. Well said, Floyd. Yeah. I'm in complete agreement. <laughs> Get out of here, fake Miles Edgeworth. You again. This is an internal company matter. Leave. He even sounds like Miles Edgeworth. <laughs> He's not wearing pink, that's the difference. Come on, man. Don't you know that Miles Edgeworth wears pink? Eh, uh, true. I am an outsider, but I'm also Floyd's friend, so I'm gonna say my piece. Don't you dare walk all over people's dreams, especially not for personal profit. Haha. <laughs> oh wait, shit, this is the boss battle. And I swapped Hikari to Inventor. Aww. You've made yourself. No, come on, let me leave. I see now that you I thought there would be another scene. <laughs> Well, it's okay. We're probably gonna go through this pretty fast anyways. <laughs> so what are you gonna do about it? How did he move that steam engine, though? With the power of another steam engine. Wait, is that a dog? Oh, howdy there, little doggy. Did he just summon a Pokemon? <laughs> Floyd, are you okay? Garnet, the boss's favorite hound. Garnet here has chased off everyone who interferes with our bottom. We're fighting the dog? <laughs> what? Wow, sounds like a faithful and true companion. Is he being paid in kibble? Particio? We should run now. No, Floyd. Nope, I ain't moving. Here's a bit of advice, Floyd. We have to go pet the cat Sometimes after this to go animal You got to fight to make your dreams come true. The dog is the real boss. Come on now, yeah. doggy. Mr. Rock turned into a dog. <laughs> oh shit, okay, never mind. That's actually very creepy. I take it all back. Um anyways. <laughs> I did this just so I could rest and gain my SP back. Uh this is completely not a good build. But it's okay. 
Um, here, we want someone to go first for like 15 turns or something, I guess. Oh, we really don't. <laughs> Deal same type of damage as a single foe's exposed elemental weak points one time. That's literally not even good. Like, what if he just doesn't have any elemental exposed weak points? What Your happens? Is not. Nothing. Okay, that's fair. What to do? <laughs> then it just dies. Okay. Um. <laughs> oh, Jr. Shaw, thank you so much for the resub. Heck yeah. More Celestia. Ain't that just the way? Yeah. Um. I I had a build for this. I was so excited to use Merchant Hikari. Um. But I swapped to Inventor for the AOE. And now we no longer have Merchant Hikari. <laughs> so it's okay. It's all just fine and dandy. Yeah, okay. Um, what are you weak to, my guy? Okay, 23k and Fire Lightning and Lance. Well, I ain't about to say no to that. Just threw a regular bottle at them, pretty much. <laughs> Uh, well, at least we have axes on Throne. Eh? Uh, is there like a multi hit? No. Oh, we do have um, regen. Forgot about that. It's kind of cool. We can like regen plus insight if we have to. Seven turns! Oh shit, that's so good. Okay, um. What else? I've actually never seen the hired help menu yet, so let's take a look at it. Okay, uh, sword attack, all foes. Raise physical defense of all allies. Reduce physical attack and physical defense of all foes. Elemental all allies restore their SP. Whoa, for 2,000, huh? Let's get to work. <laughs> that's a hope. Oh, that's not even a lot. Are you kidding me? That wasn't worth 2,000. Whoa! My turn. The good thing about this game is you can make most builds work. That's true. That's true. I don't have Cleric Oswald! <laughs> no, this is such a terrible freaking build set. This was done for one very specific reason and nothing else. I hate this so much. Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. Uh, <laughs> Anyways. I fight for my friend. I fight for my friend. Yeah, digging up random effects is actually really cool. Can't say no to that for sure. Just a moment. Ready? Wait, does that heal do like absolutely nothing? Because that's what I'm getting out of this. Many thanks. It's not a lot. Bring it on. That's nothing. I have everyone in literally their least optimal classes. Okay, maybe not, but still, pretty suboptimal. Um, I guess we're just gonna toss BP on like. Let's let's count on Oswald. I'm in Sorry about that. My turn. Yeah, he was such a tiny dog in the overworld, and then you get here and you're like, bam. <laughs> Face my rat. Uh oh, Oswald has plus magic. Uh, I'm gonna need to multicast next turn anyways. I need a plan. So I'm not gonna break him just yet, I'll take one more attack. Calculations <laughs> Gives him a nut, huh? Well, I ain't about to say no to that. Uh, powerful sword. Physical attack and defense. Sure. Let's start buffing. Let's do all the buffs. Thief skill. Eh, physical attack. Physical defense. That's the one we want. You're open. <laughs> Missed, huh? Good thing, because I didn't want to break him. Okay, we could break him now, but we're not going to because let's see what happens when I use Stroke of Genius. Nope. <laughs> Is that elemental defense and accuracy? Freaking useless. Um, great, sounds good. BP uh, Hikari. I'm investing in you. Wait, that's great. Okay. Uncovers a skeleton. Oh, <laughs> that's cool. That's so cool! Wait, shit! That's actually really awesome! Okay, we're gonna break now anyways, though. My turn. Just casually has skeletons on standby? Like, Is that's the problem. 
Okay, we'll take it. Yeah, he dug for bones, that's true. <laughs> that's exactly how it worked. Alright, uh... How much JP do I get? It doesn't tell you! Ah. Feel my wrath. Reduce them to Oh, that's not a lot of damage. What the heck? My turn. Why is Hikari so good? <laughs> I mean, we do have a plus 200 damage sword, um, and we also have uh, that was his latent power being used, I guess. But it's also Oswald's latent power, um, and we also did have physical debuff on the dog and physical buff on Hikari. So. We're stacked. <laughs> eh. You know, I just want to try this. Darkness descend. Predictable. Hmm. Also, what does Teach do? Grant a single ally your attribute raising effects for two turns. Like elemental defense and accuracy plus. I don't need that. <laughs> I don't even know what they're weak to, these skeletons. Probably like ice, right? Yeah? Rise no? Damn it. Sad. Could have been lightning, I guess. Uh, merchant skills. Ooh, wish I had a little more. Fire could be fire. I thought it might be the one thing that um, these folks aren't weak to, but I guess not. My turn. Eh. Eh. You know what I could do? Deep analysis, which is literally just better than the analysis we already have. Okay, sword. Hey, I'll take that. But uncovers nothing. <laughs> what the heck? Is this what people have been so afraid of this whole time? I'm assuming it is. Oh, oh, it's dead. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I didn't expect that actually. Uh, <laughs> elemental brush. What? What are you weak to? What are you weak to? Oh, I should have done the three-hit random. I forgot about that. Uh, eh. Nice! It was both! Predictable. Take a shot and figure it out. I'm just getting warmed up. Eh, let's go for the AoE maybe. My turn. Prepare and it's Hikari time. I fight for my friends. I fight for my friends. No quarter. <laughs> There's no need for flattery. It'll rust on swords. Whoa! Three level up. I'll take it. Gasp! You've defeated my dog! <sighs> this meddling youngster is a real thorn in my side. So? What are you planning to do? Exactly what Floyd proposed. Share this here steam engine with everyone. Heck yeah! Technology exists to make life better for people. You haven't changed, Patricio. There he is! The man, the myth, the non-legend. It's Rock. Welcome to the Rock Company. My company. He's old now. And he has a cool monocle. <laughs> Can't be mad at a guy with a monocle. Mr. Rock. Huh. It's been a while, hasn't it? I'm here to have a word with you. Oh. Have you finally decided to join my business venture? Now this is where if we were spies, we'd say yes. No, sorry. But we're Particio, so we're gonna go no. <laughs> Your time's valuable, I'm sure. So I'll get right to it. How dare you cheat my father out Mr. of his Rock, village. You deceived us, didn't you? There we go. And if I did? After you left, poverty almost brought our town to its knees. I heard the truth from Giff's own lips. He said you snuck in that extra line in the contract when we weren't looking. How dare you? You were the landowner we made that deal with all along. It's yes. so weird, though, because in the beginning... I lied to you and your father. Like, Rock definitely claimed that he also helped front some of the money to give to the original landowner, I but, I mean, I guess that was a lie, too. To get it. 
Mr. Rock, I looked up to you. Yeah, he even invited Particio along on his like business you've venture. From the path of righteousness. He could have been something better. We're merchants, so let's settle this dispute like businessmen with a transaction. Okay. Sell me the rights to the steam engine. I'll pay whatever price you ask. Oh, he's not going to give that up. Why would he ever give that up? <laughs> what? You can't be. Interesting proposal. I'm listening. Determination, this technology yes. is an incredible thing, but monopolizing it will only bring tears. Oh, there's no way. Even a merchant needs to understand that some things are more precious than money. You don't say. Like what? Like fighting for a better tomorrow. Things like this should be shared with the whole world. If I own this deal, I wouldn't keep it to myself, that's for sure. Hear that, Floyd? That's the reason I believe in your dream. Articio. Yeah. <laughs> you really haven't changed in the slightest. You convinced me. What? Let's make a deal. What? No. Uh, sir, you can't mean to. This is what I'm talking about. He has something oh. else. What's He's gonna price? sneak something into the fine print. 80 billion leaves. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, we don't have that. 80 billion? <laughs> That's outrageous. You could buy a kingdom with that much. You said it yourself. This technology can make the world a better place. <laughs> I see now. Clever as always, sir. Oh, understandable. Hmm. I've made up my mind. Whoa. It's a deal. You want 80 billion? <laughs> I'll give you 80 billion. Partitio, no! Haggle him down, please! <laughs> what? A merchant never goes back on his word. Right, Mr. Partitio Rock? debt arc. Shit, I guess you're right. Of course. I'll write up the contract now. You've essentially just sold yourself to slavery. Partitio, no. The Rock Company agrees to sell the rats to its steam engine for 80 oh, billion. Oh, no. <laughs> Thank you, Khan. Our contract has been made, Partitio. You know what? Could he make back 80 billion leaves? With the steam no. engine in enough time. Excuse me. I have much business to attend. Not to. anymore, you don't. Most of your business was built on that steam no. engine. I'll bring souvenirs next time I see. Eighty billion of them. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that day. Huh. Well then. <laughs> I overheard it all, Partition. God damn it, Ori. <laughs> Does anyone remember a lot of heart? <laughs> You're that scrivener. Because this is just Industrial a lot of heart for Mesa Turning. Rock Brilliant picks business fight with roustabout merchants. <laughs> a fight to the tune of 80 billion leaves. He kind of is a Fire Emblem protagonist, and uh, Partitio this here has got a place in Ace Attorney. Next issue for sure. It's a contract it's to sell for big. 80 billion. He hasn't sold it yet. Ah, fair enough. Oh, I need to tell my brother about this. I guess there ain't uh, like a money lender out there somewhere. A lot of odd places, don't you? <laughs> yeah, why were you here? She was definitely following Partitio, but like, I mean, uh, why? You need to tell your brother about this too, huh? Who's the brother? But where will you find that much money? It sounds impossible. Sure does. I talked big back there because my blood was boiling. <laughs> Partitio just straight up admitting that he flubbed it all. There's really nothing much to do except put in the work and build up my finances. Also, here we can see how um how inflation what? has infected the Did worlds of Orstera and Cilicia. That much capital. Because Tressa's big deal was um for a smaller amount of money than this. <laughs> I've got a hot tip for you, Particio. 
Tressa being, by oh, the way, the merchant so. from Octopath 1. I'm I'll sure many buy. of you know that. There's a noble on the western continent that has wealth to rival even the Great Rock himself. A noble, huh? Goes by the name of... Lord of a town called Wellgrove. Alrond was the name, I think. Well, now, ain't that something? <laughs> Is he the Lord I'll of the House of Rivendell? <laughs> Last homely country of the West. <laughs> I've made up my mind. I'm going to see this, Alrond. Okay. Let's go. We have Celebrimbor, and now we're adding to it. <laughs> yeah, where will you get the money? That's the thing. I won't. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. It seems as if he's going to get the money so far, probably. I, I don't know. Once again, don't spoil anything for me. <laughs> Mind shining my shoes? Oh, it's the yellow guy. Okay, listen, I have a name. Hey there, son. Working hard, huh? Oh, never mind. He's cute enough. He can do what he wants. <laughs> Sit right here. I'll shine those shoes to a sparkling sheen. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> I'm working hard. I've got to earn enough to feed my family. My guy. Such you a nice know, kid. With fingers that deft, I bet you could do a whole lot of different jobs. He is the thief. I called it. Hey. You have anything you want to do when you grow up? Steal things from people. Shining shoes is an honest profession, but it's hard to pay the bills with brush and wax alone. Okay, well, I can offer you a job in the steam mill. Uh, you want to come work child labor? I want to travel the world. Oh, shit, never mind. He's got big dreams. I've spent my whole life in this town. That's why I want some sort of job that'd let me go places. See the sights. Would you like to be a merchant? <laughs> That's a nice dream. A big one, too. Get him to steal 80 billion from Rock. <laughs> Has anyone yeah. here played Super Paper Mario? Well, all polished up nice, yellow guy. There's a chapter in Super Paper Mario where you go into debt. Um, I think it was, I don't remember exactly how much money it was, because it doesn't matter. What you end up doing is you break into that person's safe, steal their money, and then pay it back to them. Hey, never lose sight of your dream. You hear me? Such a great level. Oh, heck yeah. One day, I'll change this world. I'll make this is a such place a good where theme. folk can do the jobs they want. I promise you, it won't be long. Won't be long. Yeah! <laughs> the Paper Mario debt art. It's just fun to call things debt art. It's understandable. <laughs> oh, shit! Look at that! <laughs> Taking a photo. Breaking news! Vagrant peddler Particio throws gauntlet at wealthy elite! Particio announced his intent to acquire steam engine rights for 80 billion leaves! When asked for comment, Particio responded, Technology exists to make life better for people. That's what gives it value. But does his daring frick. <laughs> Why does it cut off like that? Ah! I have to remember to press the button. Hate that. He made the front page and with a handsome photo like that, ain't no one saying nothing about it. <laughs> or I guess it's a drawing, actually. It's not like they have... Photos, do they? <laughs> Heck yeah! <laughs> it just said read more to find out. Okay, nice. <laughs> That's nice. I read all of the things that mattered. <laughs> Alright, I'm back and I'm gonna find Catherine. I'm gonna find... The... I saw a cute kitty in an alleyway. Wait, is the, is the cat Catherine? Is the... No. No, that can't be. Catherine's... Definitely... A person, right? Oh no. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> ah! Let's find the cat. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I freaking... <laughs> I should have seen that coming. <laughs> You're the love of my life, so please, come home already. That's adorable. <laughs> yeah, I know. I realized that just as I talked to the lady. <laughs> ah. Heckin' hilarious. You get cape powder. Nice. Is that like an Octopuff thing, I'm assuming? Uh, mug this person. Bribe this person. Is he still here in the daytime? He is! Let's go! What's the 
Yikes. Yeah, what's this? A man defined for his love... <laughs> a man defined by his love for Catherine. Um... Uh, my guy. I'm taking your stuff. Can I rob the cat? I can inquire. Oh wait, hold on, come back. No, freak, I'm trying to inquire the cat. What's there? Uh, cat with a mysterious air of refinement. Acts as if born to rule over her long-suffering owner. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Pet the cat? Sure. By pressing the steal button, we have pet the cat. <laughs> Easy. Also, who are you? Well, no. Little girl worried about her father. Resolved to earn money for the family instead, but isn't sure how to go about it. Deceased mother was a singer, so she's currently trying to follow in her footsteps. That's adorable, I'm leaving your stuff. I'm a pretty good singer. Wanna hear a song? No, that's okay. Can I- wait, can I not go in here? Frick you. I already talked to him. Okay, we found Catherine, so we're leaving. Um, what do we got next? We got new Dells to cross paths. Let's figure out what Oswald and Particio get up to in their free time. That's right, I had business here. Oswald and Particio arrive in the metropolis of New Delsta. The liveliness of the city is unlike anything they have experienced before, and they can only wonder what lies in store for them. Horse. This is what you're getting. <laughs> this is exactly what you're getting. Look here, partner. Nice. I will look. The raw energy is incomparable to anything I felt in prison. Harry Glory, hello. This is why you love this quest. I know that's actually kind of funny. I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> Smells like a deal to me. Let's make some money. I bet you can't help but trip over opportunity in a town like this. But it is going fine to answer your question. We've just finished um, getting Particio into debt. Well, he certainly tripped over something. And now we're helping random strangers not trip. Uh, hey, what's the matter, fella? I am a scholar. Okay. But I am soon to starve and become a useless lump of meat. Someone give this man some food? <laughs> well, we can't have that now, can we? Here, have a bite of this bread. Oh, my savior. <laughs> this man. Hmm. <laughs> was once like I survived in prison for five years. Ah, you have saved me. Yes, thanks to you, I can continue my scholarly pursuits. I had a muzzle on and I couldn't eat anything except for mashed bread. <laughs> Good gracious. This is my first meal. Oh shit, actually that's pretty bad. Days, nine hours and 23 minutes. <laughs> now hang on. You telling me you were counting minutes even as you were dying of hunger? It is in a scholar's nature to keep records, no matter how dire the situation. You know what? Fair point. Okay, you know what? I won't blame him for that. Isn't that right, Regulus? Oh, Oswald knows him! Oswald? It is you, isn't it? Oswald! Huh? You two know each other? Oh, shit. Someone Oswald knows. <laughs> we Oswald subsisted on in information about days. <laughs> <laughs> It has been quite some time. Hey! We frequently bring the fruits of our research to bear in our spirited discussions. So then, what brought you here? Oswald's like my old college friend. <laughs> Why? Research materials, old fellow. For a hold your applause. Oswald actually a subsisted a on mugging. <laughs> like he beat people up and their strength oh, flowed into him. Nice. That's why he's what so ripped, it? too. Most curious. Shall we talk it over? Oh, how this takes me back, Oswald. Let us do so over drinks. Now drinks. That we're gonna if have to pay for. Agreement, well, I shall go right on ahead. Yeah, this guy just told us he doesn't have any money. So, you know, 
We're definitely being scammed is the point I'm making here. <laughs> to the stars. To which we may more Oh, I just noticed. Look at the background here. You can see posters of the girl from Magnea's dreams. story. That's really cool. Like the dancer girl. Far, or far dancer lady, I guess. Grasp. <laughs> and so I have devised a device that will allow us to bring them right before our eyes. Oh shit. He's got Galileo energy. I call it the astronomical telescope. Yeah, Dulcinea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doesn't that mean something like sweet or something? The stars like have been humanity's guide since time immemorial. They know the truth of this world. They do. But I shall be the one to lay their mysteries bare. To uncover the depths of space. You have changed a bit, Regulus. Oswald's like, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to burn this one oh, man alive. Uh, that's that's nice. One astronomical <laughs> size dream. Well, go on. Show us this telescope of yours, Regulus. You've piqued my interest as well. Is it complete? <laughs> no. It will be soon. Rather, it was supposed to be. And yet, the money, it simply now, isn't here. If only I had hit it big at the game parlor. <laughs> I would have secured oh, the shit, last he of gambled my away funds. his fortune. This is why your investors don't like you, you my friend. Me. The odds were ever in my favor, but the stars abandoned me in my hour of need. Don't do it, friends. Don't gamble away your riches. You just misread your odds. Betting is a simple matter of probability. <laughs> You've always had an exceptionally keen mind, but you're a fool when it comes to money. <laughs> yeah, sir, the games I are rigged. <laughs> I did a side quest and a main quest on this. Because <laughs> yeah. Throne A1 talks How much about it too. Coin you got in those pockets of yours? The game parlor is run by um, the Blacksnakes, is isn't it? I have to my name. Yep, sure are hard up. <laughs> Partitio's like, that's all right, I'm in more debt. Weren't you? Oh, hell. You got me all riled up now. What say you give me that coin? Okay. Invest this coin in me, and I reckon I can get you everything you need for your telescope. No, don't encourage. <laughs> My savior. God damn it, Partitio. <laughs> Oswald is like these children. <laughs> we need three components in order to complete my astronomical telescope. What a scholar to gamble Metal all his- weapons, Yeah, actually, he was just studying mirror, uh, the gambling den, you know? precision lens. Okay. Particio here shall control all the funds. All right. Yep, leave it to me. All right, let's do it. I shall await you in the square in front of the theater. I pray to the stars for your every success. Particio's net worth is like a ping pong ball. Particio's net worth is a sine wave. <laughs> it goes up and down. Don't it rises no and falls like me. the tides. Indulging him never ends well. <laughs> well, all right then. Was me that got the boasting anyhow. <laughs> Come on, Oswald. How about an old friend? Now, I best get to negotiating. Negotiating? Oh, you assume too much, my friend. I'm going to steal the things I need. Obtained 600. He had 600 leads. That's how much he had. Oh my gosh. Uh, someone here has what I need, don't it? No? Up there? Inside? Inside. Here we are. Oh, you can only buy it! <laughs> You mean I can't steal it? Thank you kindly. Thank you kindly. Who are you? Oh yeah, the one with the right. And then I have to get a new Delta Devil. Where was it again? I'll go there. Uh, from the cave out east. Cave out east. Okay. Can't steal. I know. Why would they do this to me? Here she is. Hey there. Precision lens. I didn't even realize I had this. Sure, I'll sell it to you. Thank you kindly. 
They know their player base. Listen. <laughs> Why must you be so mean? You're completely right, though. Have I got what you need? Uh, special invigorating, right. I should take him to the Western Continent. <laughs> oh, you're right, yeah, because it was 200, 300, and then 250. Hey, I'm spending extra on you. Thank you kindly. I guess if I had somebody that, um, could lower the price on items, then it would work. <laughs> like taking candy from a baby. Time to head on over to Regulus at the square in front of that theater. SMH. Can't believe I spent an extra 150 leaves on this. Tisk tisk. Alright, where is he? <laughs> what if I just stand in front of him, take out all three parts, and then say no? I will not I'll give it to you. you Regulus? Oh. Oh, you are truly a god among mortals, a messiah, come to save this world. <laughs> <laughs> That's taking it a bit too far, ain't it? I'll surely be able to assemble the telescope with these parts. Thank you ever so much. I cannot waste another second. Okay, let's see that telescope of yours. You may find me in Montois. Oh, in Montois, okay. And once my telescope is complete, we can stare the mysteries of the night sky right in the eye. Interesting. <laughs> so this seems to casually break down my old theory. Oh, the mysteries of the night sky, huh? Which was that all of the, um... we shall pay him a visit soon. Just keep your expectations low. Just yeah, my, my old theory, based on very little information, was that all of the crossed paths were related to the end boss or something, but maybe not. There's definitely continuations for all of them, so we'll be getting more information soon. Can't wait for him to die of starvation on the way to Monwise. He's like, help, I gave my last 600 leaves to some rando and all I got in return are these telescope parts. What am I gonna eat? Alright. Onwards. I think there's actually another cross path. Um, there's like Nea. Nea. 26. Yeah, this one. Okay, so we're gonna do Castilla and Ochet, and then... Is there anything else that's low level? Have we finally hit the 20s? I think we have! I think we have! Let's go! We've hit the 20s! Okay. Eat the telescope, coward! <laughs> Let your stomach see the stars. I mean, there's probably some edible parts in a telescope, yeah? Maybe like one or two? Maybe not. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, do I have your quest thing yet? Memory fades. If but one of their patterns remain, I might be able to revive your craft, but I do not have it. Alas, alas. Yeah. Hey, Gus. Gus, get over here. Okay, there we go. Your name isn't Tavern Keeper. You're literally a part of Agnea's story. Wait, no, Gus is the other one, isn't it? Is this one Gil or Gus? Frick, I've forgotten which is which. Um, Casty. And Ochet. Nasty. Ochet. Telescopes are rich in iron and several other materials. <laughs> Telescopes are totally gonna be um, a worthwhile investment on the edible front. Mm, Kate Bauer, don't need that. Eh, don't need that either. Oh, Mighty Belt is what I want. Scroll down. Yeah. Big money. Gil is the one in New Delta. Okay, so this one is Gus then. Nice. Okay, uh, eh, eh, eh. max SP 30. That's all you're getting. Temenos has the mage wand, huh? Okay, whatever. <laughs> Close enough. Let's hear a story. Wait, wait. Let's hear a... Let's... There we go. Casti and Ochette arrive in the lively little village of Cropdale. The beastling catches a whiff of something delicious, so the two follow her nose to a merchant's stall. Wow! 
lot of people here. <laughs> it is a lively little village. They say it's famous for peaches and raspberry pie. Oh, raspberry pie! Hey! Uh, fruit! Yeah, I'll stick with meat. Yeah, they did mention it last time, I'm pretty sure. A purely carnivorous diet isn't good for you. Everything in balance, all in moderation. Casty mothering everyone. <laughs> Casty! You sound like my mother. <laughs> Actually, though. <laughs> they have a special animation hey, for Ochet smelling something. Something wild. smells good. Ochet, no, don't run off. You're gonna get lost in this tiny town. Welcome, travelers. A meat vendor. <laughs> Care to try Cropdale's new delicacy? Door, door on a stick. Oh, that's right. Yeah, we beat one up. Oh, yes, meat, real meat. Oh, Chad, you've been eating meat this oh, entire Chad. time. Manners. May we have one skewer, please? <laughs> like we literally just prepared like at least fifteen different enemies. And oh, Chad smells things a lot. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Oh, I will. Thanks. I feel like she's used that before a few times too. I just didn't notice. You mustn't eat too, too much, Ochat. Yeah, both Mahina and Casti are gonna team up on the mothering. Ugh, this is gross. Ochat, don't insult them like that. Uh, excuse me. This meat tastes weird. Sorry about that. Not much I can do when it gets that old. It takes a whole garden of herbs just to cover the smell. Oh, so it's old meat. Mm. Why do you go to such lengths to make old meat edible? Don't have any new meat, huh? Hunting's been bad lately. I've hunted these parts. Yeah, the for jerky years, eating animation. Never seen it like they went this. through the trouble to make Ochet be able to eat jerky. Huh. Maybe we'll go take a look at the forest while we're here. Let's do it. Oh, you're a hunter too, Missy. The forest just past the village. What do you mean, good luck? I'll need it. <laughs> Leave it to me. I'll be fine. You mustn't overextend yourself, Ochet. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, Ma. All right, let's go overpower some animals. Heck yeah. Get wrecked. Danger level one. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. No one else can eat here. It's not allowed. <laughs> Eating is a uh, special power. I mean, it's true that only one person can cook. And that's Ochet. The scholar was really starving because every time he tried to eat, he just couldn't manage it. Nothing tasted good enough. Ooh, shish kebab fruit! Wait, like fruit that you can put on a shish kebab? Is that tasty? <laughs> I'll say. On Toto Haha, we used to wrestle the animals for him. Wrestle the animals? For a plant? Like grab them out of their hands. There are here. <laughs> Doesn't that strike you as odd? Uh, there's got to be some beef so here, many huh? Delicious fruits be left untouched. Uh, now that you mention it, the forest feels a little too quiet. Yep, some beast. Can we beat it up? Ahina's on edge too. Oh, for sure. Here it is. Something's headed this way! <laughs> oh, hey! Hey! You must be one of the famous door door! We've already beat up one of those. It seems quite agitated. We can beat up another. <laughs> Agnea in the background, like, Easy hey, I've done no. this! What's got into you? This isn't working. Sorry, Dorsey, but this is gonna hurt a bit! Also, Dorothy. <laughs> That's cute. That's adorable. <laughs> I'm getting tangled. Ready? Let's go! Swords, you say. But this is a dire door door. That's true. It is much higher leveled. Oh, Ready shit. They away. stunned Oswald. Why would you do this to me? Uh. Uh. Oh, Chet doesn't have a second class. Oh, I took it off of her. Shit. <laughs> okay, bows then, probably. My turn. Um. Staff, nice. Good to have. What to do? 
<laughs> just trying to say that's not gonna happen. We don't have Hikari, who's here for all the damage, and, uh... Hmm. <laughs> right. Well, as long as it doesn't tear me to shreds, I think I'll be fine, probably. <laughs> we have summons, uh... Violinist with Slash and Dagger damage. Uh, Mahina... Actually, Mahina would be good. We can see if we have any of the elemental weakness. Okay, fire. Nice. Good to know. <laughs> Alright. Uh, oh, I hate that. I hate that uh, Oswald is still freaking dead. Hi! Mm. Can I, like, rehabilitate him or something? He'll be back next turn, anyways. Relax attack, nullify their status of. Uh, more you nullify, the more potent the attack. I mean, it's already been debuffed. We'll use it, I suppose, at some point. Also, I am a scholar. I can do scholarly things. Uh, okay, you know what? I'm just gonna heal. This will make it all right. There we go. Let's go. All right, Ochet. With the break. Mahina! Thinking time. Thinking time. Mm. Calculations complete. Well, we all die powerful, but maybe this should be enough. Fire. Burn. Mm. My turn. Oh, okay. As swift as a snake. As swift as a snake. Reduce physical defense. You're open. Queen <laughs> time. Uh, sword attack, single foe. But I will hold back. Heavy footed. Uh, only sixteen. Well, huh? All right, so I'll use the laden power or not laden power. Um, I'll use the other thing next time. Actually, speaking of laden power, can't I just restore BP? Ooh. Haha. <laughs> Wait, is there like a? Effects action order? My gosh. Extends the reach of effects to all. Uh, enhances effects. Restores HP after performing an action during the day. And restores SP... Okay, that's interesting. Uh, trying to figure out if there's something better. I'll give it to Ochat maybe, but um, I guess she doesn't really need BP. So I'd rather just raise physical attack. Yeah, it's not even necessary, really. Eh, I'll do it anyways. But like, I don't need these five ingredients. I really don't. <laughs> Here, uh, one BP, uh, one physical attack, another physical attack. Um, I wish I could use these on different people, but I, I'm sure I can't. Sure, we'll toss an HP. Uh, the second pomegranate is kind of useless, though, in this case, because she's just going to gain it next turn anyways. Like, at the start of next turn, Ochad is going to have 4 BP, so I can give her 1. Uh, you know what, I'll just do another Raze's physical attack. I don't know how long this battle is going to last. Time for your medicine. Uh, Here we go. Two pomegranate strengthen diffuse. Oh wait, you mean this the diffuse thing affects everyone? Like, oh shit. Okay, never mind. I thought what that did was um if you apply it to someone, their attacks affect everyone. Like I thought that was similar to Hikari's ult. Oh, that would have been so useful to know. <laughs> well, I'll use it next time. Attack. Yeah, okay, okay. See, I thought... <laughs> I totally thought that wrong. I thought it was something you can apply to someone that would diffuse their attacks. <laughs> yeah, okay, it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, in that case, that's super useful, yeah. Heckin... Multiple BP. What is it saying? Hmm. It's too late.
wait for me. Eat me while I'm still tasty. Oh, Jack just unhinges her jaw. <laughs> no lying, please. <laughs> Are you injured? Are we gonna heal it? We're not gonna eat it? Wait, don't run away. There he goes. Guess he's got places to be. And I wish those places were in let's my stomach. Let's follow him. <laughs> All right, let's go get that guy. Let's go get him. Uh, secret pathway. Bird of serenity. There's nothing here. I was lied to. Also, I have to say, I appreciate the forest we lied to. This one might be near the top of my list. No. Oh, SMH, I forgot again. Can I run? Yes. Where's Inventor? Here it is. It's kind of not necessary, really. I was using Hunter before. That could be pretty good. I guess it's good to have a healer around. You were all holed up here? You have Throne Huntress? Yeah, I think that's probably pretty good. I'm you not using Throne as afraid. a attacker, though. Easy. I'm using her for pretty much just spots. terrified. But terrified of what? Not the door door? I would have expected that. Be gone, humans. Harm not the door door. Oh no? Oh, okay. Uh, we already beat one up though. Is that what they're saying? I suppose they think we're here to hurt that one from earlier. Yeah, it seems like a lot of people like the cat ears thrown a vibe, huh? <laughs> Let's go, Casty. Well, I won't say no to that. In fact, you know what? Let's do it. Just for fun. <laughs> like Cold Trap is nice. Wait, do I have Like Cold Trap on her? Uh, yeah, I do. That's what I thought. Also, hey, I can get the next thief skill. Uh, raise your speed for three turns. Sure. Life in the shadows. Life in the shadows. Uh, additional XP and JP after battles at night. Huh. That's funny. I like it. Okay, looks like you can also probably buy Casty a few skills. Yep. Okay, just one, huh? AoE Axe versus... Wow, I really held out on Replenish Health, didn't I? <laughs> well, okay. And while we're at it, do I have Cleric Oswald? No, I do not. <laughs> Cleric Oswald. Uh, life in the Shadows is 50%! <laughs> Swaps to nighttime immediately. That's really good. Hey. Oh, bow and axe to throw an A. It's <laughs> <all right. laughs> Calm down. It's okay, like, I'm, I'm not using her for damage. Come on. Don't be scared. Have I ever don't played worry. Record of Agarest Mama here's got a kind heart. Agarest? Just, uh, I have don't not make her seen. angry. Oh, Chet. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Cassie is such a freaking mother. I love it. I only want to tend your wounds. You don't want those to get infected. Let me help you. Please. Cassie is like, I might not be able to talk to animals, but my voice is really soothing. So it should be fine. <laughs> yeah, in fact, I haven't heard of that game either. Record of the Agarest War? I that guess? should do it. Okay. Good boy, Wooly Uli. Aw, oh, she named him. Did you just say Wooly Uli? That's his name. Don't you like it? <laughs> I love the difference here. Agnea's like, I'm gonna beat well, it up. <laughs> he likes it. And Castille's like, I'm going you, to heal it. Wooly Uli. What's that? I know Chad is just sad she can't eat it. <laughs> I'm sorry I attacked you. It was a dark monster they'd never seen before. Hmm. 
I wonder what the monster was. Hmm. It does raise questions. It sure does. Yes, but, uh, more importantly... Oh, also, I forgot to change the camera. Get in there. Perhaps we should eat before discussing it further. Thanks, Ma. <laughs> Aww, cute. <laughs> they ported the Xbox 360 version of it to the Switch and it's still just as good as you remember it? Hey, that's awesome. I do have to appreciate it when they port something old to the... When they port something old to the Switch, you know? The Switch is just such a convenient device to play games on. Like, at this point, it doesn't even matter if it has the same capacity to, I don't know, render anything <laughs> as any of the PCs we have on guard right now, but, um... But it's really nice being able to just take it anywhere and use it. Do we mug the villager? Probably not. Wait, freak. I'm back. Okay, there we go. It's a good SRPG. Ooh, okay. Well, no. I'll have to add it to my list. <laughs> Wait, well, Iris uses? Hmm. Well, Iris. I don't remember anyone needing that. Hmm. What's the... Quiet old man. He was a brilliant but volatile musician in his youth, huh? Also, I think we can probably beat this guy up now. What's the... Village hog farmer. He's rich I'll enough. Take that. <laughs> imagine the door door just going, my name is George. Yeah, I'd, I'd imagine that. <laughs> It'd be kind of great, actually. A free ambush. Cool. Get wrecked. Hey, there's a beast person out there. Wait, did you see that? There's a beast person out there. How? How the... What? 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 A day... Oh! <laughs> so they are. <laughs> Thank you. This is the kind of stupid stuff that I'm okay with being spoiled for me. Previously wounded while traveling the western continent. Owner of this house decided to happen... Oh, decided, uh, happened to find her and saved her life. There we go, okay. For some reason, she cannot muster the will to set out again. That's adorable. Um, I'll leave your axe, because you may need it, but I'm taking your stuff. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I have to... Oh, is she that useful? What does she give you? What does she give you, and I'll decide if it's worth you asked about cloth textiles. Does the well iris help with that? No? Okay, sad. Wait, no, come, come back. Yeah. Squall of arrows? Okay, that sounds useful. Sure. Well, I'm not gonna have Agnea in the party, like, ever. So I'm not gonna be using this. AKA living airstrike. That sounds cool. You know what? Oh, hey, it's a- Oh, hey, it's a grape expert! I know, I remember exactly who needs this. Frick, um... Wait, I took his tricks. Okay, nice. I thought I had to, like, bring him with me or something. Uh, yeah, okay, I don't think we need to bring him. Nice. Okay, if I go back to the grape guy... I'll remember. I'll remember the grape guy. Alright. Come with me. Hmm... She's a beastling. I'll take her with me. Worth. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Look at this trail. <laughs> Freaking great. Uh, I think that's all we had to do here, so let's head out. Actually, did we scrutinize everyone? Take their stuff? So I don't think I did the first time around through here. Yeah. What? Elderly villager. Oh, hey, uh, Dirtless List, out of sorts, used to be one of the village's finest dancers. Her mother was a skilled weaver who made a unique textile called Crop. Hmm. I can't allure this person. How? What? Am I supposed to get... I found your Crop textiles. 
I'll have to find a pattern. Oh, okay, fine. Doesn't count, huh? Hey, it's Pella! Give me your raspberries, Pella. I'll take good care of this. <laughs> She's not here in the daytime, huh? She's out doing her business. Can't say no to that. Uh, okay. I think we've pretty much stolen everything we can from here. I mean, uh, rightfully liberated everything we can from here. I ain't gonna say no to that. Let's head onwards. I think we're finally at the level 20-somethings, so yeah? Okay, so there's 26 for Hikari. Um, also, I still don't have a boat. I actually don't know how to get a boat, but um, I'll be getting one soon. Okay, so it looks like Agnea 3, probably, is the next stop. Yeah. And then Casti... Casti 2 is still level 24, that's hilarious. And then Temino's 3. Yeah. What else? What's this? Okay, a bunch of 37s out there. Sounds good to me. Let's head over to... I said Agnea, didn't I? We finally get to go back to Tropu Hoopu. Awesome. Yeah, I love how Paula has a you never cease to amaze me. Yeah, she's so cute. She knows exactly what's happening. That's right, I had business here. Um, Inea continues her journey to Tropu Hopu and search for the right words to the Song of Hope she got from Gil. The really freaking awesome sounding song. Let's begin. Song of Hope. And I told Gil I'd find words for the song he composed. Inspiration hasn't struck me just yet. But I'm sure I'll find the words eventually. I just have to keep going until I do. Because I've already been here, I know there's a place in the back where we can find something like that. Now then, this town looks like a fine place to stop on my journey. <laughs> also, how did you get here, Agnea? <laughs> oh, goddess, lend me your strength. Huh? These playwrights are doing a great job. Hey, that's Edelgard's outfit. <laughs> that's definitely Edelgard's outfit. Well, I'll be. Not even Tansy can budge it. <laughs> okay, this they're trying to move the car huh? wanting to take a shortcut, Tansy. Okay. We wouldn't be in a rush if you hadn't overslept, Rico. And treat is just steel with mind manipulation. And treat is steel, but we you make them feel good about themselves. Time because the ship was late, and now this thing will budge. It's okay. I have a kick for you. Say, Coda, if pushing doesn't work, why don't we pull? Let's give it a try. Okay. Wait. <laughs> They're doing their best. Just what do you think you're doing? Sorry. Wait, is this like Nea 3? I think this is like Nea 3. <laughs> Improvisation! I love it! That's the true spirit of comedy. How can you be so calm, boss? Everyone will laugh at us if we perform without our wagon and props. Then I'll consider it a success. Not even gold shines brighter than a smile. Those are such un edelgard like words that it Come on, <laughs> completely does. It just takes away the image. Can do. Oh, think, think. <laughs> That's great, though. Oh, goddess, dear goddess. Pardon me, but I know a way to get your wagon moving again. You, you do. I don't. Are we gonna kick it? Really? Are you gonna recruit Are a whole bunch of people to move here? it? I bet that's it. No, I'm just a traveler. Yeah, we're probably gonna go recruit a whole bunch of people. Would you aren't happen we? to have a sturdy stick flying around? Oh no, shit! She's a physics student. Hmm. Rico, Coda, could you help this woman It's like find the what great ancient magician Archimedes once said: <laughs> "If you have a lever big enough, you can move the world." Well, this. You can't be serious. That's Coda's flute! That is a tiny-ass stick. It's not gonna be good enough. Nice. Just wait right here, then. I'll go find one. Okay. We can go find a stick. This is fine. And then when we come back, we can beat people up with it. Also travel banter, heck yeah! 
Wait, 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 no, yes, okay. <laughs> I keep forgetting I have to press the button. I think this town is wonderful. Everyone's got a spring in their step. If I had been raised here, perhaps I would have grown into a decent adult. Filthy towns corrupt their people to the core. That's not true. I think you're more than decent, Throne. You're strong and kind. To tell the truth, I want to be more like you. A proper city lady. Thank you. I'm sure not even the filthiest city could have dulled your shine. <laughs> That's adorable. Find a sturdy stick. Sure, we'll do. Rico. Young performer. Impressive acting, storytelling, and sleights of hand made her an indispensable member of the group. She and Koda are best friends. God damn it. I'm trying to pick the other one. No. Ah. There. <laughs> Whoa. Young performer. She and her partner are always in perfect harmony. Comedic dialogue set to music is one of the... Oh, are they like a Manzai sketch duo? I've heard about this. Um, it's Whoa. like the... The like... There's like a straight man and like someone who's like... Who plays the fool, kind of. Director provides support. Charge of keeping them in line. Understandable. Wait, no. Give me the... Give me the... I can't. What? I can't... Oh, I can't scrutinize them. The frick? That's so weird. Okay, well, whatever. I'm not gonna question it. Mm, also, before we get into anything, uh, let's head over to... Here. Um, what can I do? Wait, frick. No, come back. Okay, Hikari. Uh, okay. There we go. And we've actually already been here, so... There's a few people we can still scrutinize, I'm sure. Oh, 48%! My gosh, why do these people- Oh, sweet, never mind. <laughs> Retired free diver, holy shit. I'm taking her stuff. Sea Serpent Stripe, War Gods Duet. Okay, I think I have a slightly better version already, so we're okay. Okay, someone with a stick, huh? Looks like it's this guy over there. Let's go talk to him. Take all the stuff, that's the mayor. I robbed the mayor. Um, and I will take this merchant <laughs> stuff as well. In fact, hey you, you look like Pyro. Which means... <laughs> Get, no, <laughs> the poet. Damn it. <laughs> uh, it can inflict blind, ooh, that's cool. Maybe I should beat them up then. But um, I think I have a slightly better thing already. Oh, it's a high chance to blind? Oh, that's actually really useful then, hmm. No? no? Oh, fine. I have to entreat then. This ought to do the trick. I have to get back and help those folks. Alright, sure. Kid? Excuse me? I am no kid. I am a well-meaning adult. Actually, how old is Agnea? Now, if we just put this stick right here... And... I think it actually might be pretty old, huh? Up you go! We did it! Agnea's 18, what? That makes sense, actually. Oh my goddess! Yeah, Ochet is 20, I know that. Temenos is, I think, 30. I don't know who you are, kid, but we owe you one. I feel like Oswald's probably, like, 40. Maybe older. <laughs> don't mention it. I learned a lot playing in the mud growing up. <laughs> Agnea, no, what else did you get trapped? You're stronger than you look. What's your name? Agnea. Agnea Bristarni. Bristarni? Well, in any case, we owe you a debt of gratitude, Agnea. Oh, if it was double hit we're spear on all, then I would take it. <laughs> we call ourselves but I do not think Giselle's we're at the level to get that yet. Troop. out of thin air <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you like it the blind thing is pretty useful in too, my though. eyes not even the shine of gold compares to that of a smile that's why the girls and I travel the world hoping to make it shine oh she's such an anti Edelgard <laughs> I mean to be fair Edelgard is working for the good of all to every corner of the realm that's our motto 
Yeah! <laughs> they have confetti! How wonderful! That's adorable. I'm a dancer. I'm on a journey to become a star. Yeah. That's fantastic! Right, Rico? Coda? You're a woman with dreams, Agnia. Sure am. Oops. She makes them smile in the best and worst of times. She's there, come rain or shine. Current fave Giselle's dog. It's a feat that only <laughs> those who keep getting up on stage can achieve. I like how she wears that half red cape yes, just to hide the dove under her arm. Great, perfect. Boss, it's almost time for rehearsal. Time flies when you're having fun, doesn't it? Haha. Uh -huh. I hope we meet again someday, my dear dreamer. Oh, we sure will. They went through a whole lot we'll of effort to introduce you folks. Later. That means you'll be right back. Time. Why don't you come see it? Will do. I promise it'll make you smile. I can't even imagine what sort of show brings smiles to every corner of the realm. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> I can learn a thing or two from them. But like, are they actually good though, or are they just like really proud of themselves? Because I feel like we're gonna go there and end up finding out that literally no one cares or something. And it's gonna be kind of sad. Let's give that a save. And press plus to heal our travel banter. Heck yeah. Wait, 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 no. Yes, okay. <laughs> How fares your father back home, Adnea? He's doing just fine, thanks. I see. That's good to hear. Papa's a tailor. And my sister Paula's taken to helping him out at the shop these days. I'm sure your father misses you dearly. Yeah, this is the first time I've been away from him, but... When I become a star, I'm going to wear the dresses he makes. I have a feeling that'll bring his smile to Papa's face. I have no doubt that it will, Agnea. <laughs> Thanks, Hikari. They're actually so cute. <laughs> like, so far, uh, I'm trying to figure out what ships I'm going to have in this game, right? And like... Agnea works with so many different people, I can't make a decision. Versus Hikari, who, like, doesn't have too many choices yet. But I'm just saying, okay? Like, all of the Agnea Hikari supports have been pretty cute so far. I'll give him a plus. Also, where is that free item? Yeah, autoplay is way too fast on Travel Banter, especially if I want to read things out loud, which I do. Here it is. Energize and pomegranate. Like, Agnea works with Gil from that one town, or Gus from her own hometown. I am partial to the childhood friends dynamic, usually. Um, Hikari, I don't know. Like, I mean, obviously, Kazan, probably too much of an age gap if I'm gonna ship him with that. Mm, nothing too great. How about you? Rare stone, vivid jewel. I'm paying 5,000 to figure out what this man is up to. An old man who moved up from the Crestlands. After long years in the mountains, island fresh- Oh wait, island life is fresh and wonderful to him. Spends his days roaming the beach. Okay, I'm gonna earn that money back by robbing him. Oh wait, I can just take it. Oh wait, no, never mind. I want the vivid jewel. Him. This old man ought not to be underestimated. Yeah, I'm I not, like I'm not underestimating you, my friend. Thinking time. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I thought. I've seen worse methods. Uh, especially that last throne A support. Agnea throne A, maybe? Oh, worth it. Which one? Do you mean the one that I've seen or one that you've seen? So many cool people in this town. So many things to steal. <laughs> hey there, Islander. How's it going? Who are you? Uh, oh, warrior sword. Whoa! <laughs> um... I- I bow to you. I bow to you, my friend. I'm just gonna retreat peacefully from your little humble abode. Uh, I- I, I saw nothing. I will not take your stuff. Uh, the Agnea's right we saw a while ago. Uh, which one was that? I don't remember. All of them are cute, though, honestly. Oh, you mean like the one we just saw now? Like, not like a previous one or something? Okay, that's fine. 
You gonna lure this man in day? Quite low chance though. Oh, pretty pearl. Oh hey, uh, wasn't something? Someone was looking for a pearl. Damn slugger at worth again. Okay, wake up on time. Right, I couldn't figure this one out either. Huh? I swear I'm not doing it on purpose. Just can't seem to wake up on time. Think about how early you have to get up. I get so nervous I can't sleep. What if I just knock him out? Good night. Good night. <laughs> yeah, that works. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> Wait. No, that's not good. <laughs> it's so funny. He has a 2% chance to drop Battle Tested Blade if you beat him in a challenge. Oh, shit. Grr, just how much sleep does he need? Yeah, wise, I agree. Question mark? <laughs> Big question. A damn slugger, late again. Oh, so it doesn't work. Oh. Swear I'm not doing it on purpose. Is it Casti? Can you only do it with Casti? What if I just take his lance? Uh, I'm gonna take his lance first. I'll take. Can't we talk about this? Says the sleepy fisherman. I like my odds. I like my odds here too. Hmm. It's not gonna be like one elemental barrage, but it won't be too hard. For a this wasn't in my calculation. Oh, no, confused. No. Fire. He's only Stand getting like four hours of sleep. Maybe it's Casty. Maybe. I guess I can go get Casty and give it a try. I'm gonna do it. How does... I mean, like, she puts people to sleep, like, literally. Whistlin' has appeared, heck yeah. These themes are so catchy. Ain't no way I can't whistle them. Alright, just for fun. You have the party member you need and it's not Casty. Oh. Well, alright, I guess I won't use the Slumber Sage then. Really, it literally puts people to sleep. Um... Hmm. Hmm. about how early you have to get up. He's not gonna be... He's not gonna be drinking. And I literally can't do anything else to him. Is it something else? Is it something related to this dude? Also, I'm taking that. Ah... Uh, eh. Can't be Agnea. I can beat him up. <laughs> Isn't that literally the only thing I have left? Like, just looking at these. The only thing I can do is put him to sleep with Throne or beat him up with Hikari. Is it actually beating him up with Hikari? You know what? I'm just gonna beat him Raise up for the fun of it, but... <laughs> he could use getting knocked out. I mean, yeah, but... My turn. My turn <laughs> Prepare yourself. I mean, <laughs> this can't be. This can't be the answer. I'm I just still gonna do it. Much to learn. You still have much to. Uh, have a chance to confuse the single foe and yourself for one turn. No thanks. Oh, you have to knock him out during the day. Oh. <laughs> Okay, that's actually really fair. <laughs> Alright, that's fair, that's fair. <laughs> so you could use, um... <laughs> Got it. Wait, who's the other knockout character? Casti and Throne are nighttime. Uh, it's uh, Ochet. Okay, so I could have also used Ochet, huh? Interesting. He's here! He made it! Good for you!
plenty of sleep last night. Seems I need more sleep than the average bear. But that leaves you with no time for yourself. Nonsense. I love being on the ocean and I have lots of time to stare out at the waves between holes. You're a real man of the sea, aren't you? Aw, thank you. I'm glad I could help this poor soul. Also evasion nut, heck yeah. Alright, let's head onwards. Oh, look, it's a small girl. I'm taking her bracelet. <laughs> I am sorry, young girl. How about you, my friend? Uh, what's hers? Uh, yeah, she doesn't understand how dangerous the wilderness can be, huh? I will show you how dangerous... Shit. Shit, she figured me out. <laughs> Oh no. Yeah, the city can be dangerous too, my friend. I'll take it. Learn wisely. Glad we got this man some rest by brutally stabbing him. Yeah, I was so sure, because, like, you know, Castile's medicine, like, I mean, there's different types of medicine, but most of them are, uh, actual. Oh, also, War Gods yeah, this is the one. Uh, eh. Serpent Strike. Okay, well, alright, moving on. But yeah, I know, I was like, Castile's Medicine is like literally a sleep agent, isn't it? So, but apparently not. Fair enough. Makes sense that you have to knock him out during the day, actually. If only Castile could give people medicine during the day. She can't, though. Her apothecary skills only work at night. <laughs> oh no, they lost something. What do we do now? This is my fault. I should have been keeping an eye out. I guess we should start looking. They should have made Castilla Day and Ochet night. Yeah, the oh, problem with that is Idea. that, um, oh, <laughs> it would mess a few things up, that's true. But the other problem with that is just is that Octopath wrong? One's path what actions are what this show? is based on, so. We have a runaway. And like Hunt, it was provoked during the day back in a game runaway? one, so they had to keep what the same for Ochet. Your dove? Don't worry, I'll help you find it. No, it's not the dove. It's Boss. Boss is gone. But what? Agnea, did you not notice that one member was missing? What do you mean? Sometimes her nerves get to her before a show. Uh, yeah, Ote didn't have day and night. Um, well, we but like um. Back. So we what they did for OT2 is they kept lady. all of the path actions from the original for the day, and then they added a whole new oh set at night goddess. that just combined all of the um, the four square mechanics in Let different ways. I don't quite so like, it would have broken the pattern is what away, I'm saying. <laughs> it would have broken the pattern of keeping all of the path actions during the day the same. For the audience's sake. Thank you, Ignea. Let's go find her. Thank you. In sync, too. So cute. Yeah, actually, so it's a lot easier for me to remember all of the skills. <laughs> Purely because I remember all the OT1 skills perfectly fine. Oh, twofold? Is that a double hit lance? Probably not AoE though, so not worth it. Yeah. Oh. Do not fear, <laughs> for I shall liberate you of your worldly belongings, making the world a better- Ooh, hey! Oh, I have seen a pearl! Had a necklace, threads broke. Uh, I have two of them! Wait, are there more? Did, did I miss some? Uh, good luck. <laughs> no! Oh, she said yes! Let's go! <laughs> Aww. Adorable. Good man, looking for pearls. Alright, give me my reward. <laughs> oh! Uh, 15... Whoa, 15k. And the cupid's bow. Well, I ain't about to let that pass without giving it a checkout. Um... Slim chance to confuse target, eh? Not bad. But not that good either. Well, actually, you know what? Throne is here for multi-hits. And other fun things. Crystal dagger. 
Eh, we'll toss that on. You get an empowering lychee M for each extra pearl. Oh, okay. That's pretty good, I guess. Mm. Maybe I'll give the speed sword, and then I think we're probably fine. Although... Heh. Maybe Agnea should have this. Well, too late now. Oh, let's toss a job on Agnea before we forget. Uh, what can she be? Hmm. Beef Agnea? For more dagger? <laughs> Apothecary Agnea? She's gotta be something healing related, because it's not gonna be useful otherwise. Let's do rehabilitate. Um, powerful axe, single foe, poison them for two turns. With the poison. AoE axe. Close enough. And then we'll go back to the skills menu and toss some actual skills on here. Elemental! Uh, wind base damage, single foe. Move a single ally's next action up one spot. Eh, yeah, I'm not gonna put an inventor on Agnea. For now, at least. AoE dagger? Could be good, maybe. Oh, Bewildering! I love Bewildering Grace. <laughs> okay, uh... You know what? That actually could be pretty good. <sighs> Up one spot, huh? Okay. 30% of the equipping character's max HP and SP upon winning the battle. Yeah. Extends duration of augmentic effects by one turn. Sure. More easily evade. Heck yeah. Time to game over on our own skill. Heck yeah! <laughs> Um, yeah, by the way, Bewildering Grace is not the best way to gain um, XP and stuff. It's it, it's gonna take you ages if you ever try it. I'll so do that. not try it. There are better ways, um, especially in OT1, there are better ways to grind. I don't know if there are in this game, maybe there aren't, who knows. Okay, is there something down here? Sure is. The theater itself, that's what there is. Oh hey! What you doing here in the darkness? What? A tailor! Oh! Ooh, gorgeous Saudi. Yeah, I'll take that. Oh yes, another one of these. Oh shit, I want it. Mm. Damn. Okay. <sighs> Worth a try. Uh, she's gone. She outside? Somewhere close by, maybe? Nope. That's someone else. Ah, okay, I'll try it one more time. I'm so tempted! Okay, one more time and we'll just ruin our reputation, you know, for good. <gasps> it worked like gold! I'll take that. <laughs> yeah! Okay. Um... Here they all are, being sad. Let's go find out that Edelgard clone. Let's find her. And let's take her stuff. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I think we're giving her hope, right? We can do that. This is a place of tropes and hopes. Oh, it's the young man! Oh, it's so much easier to steal from him than it is to do anything else. Uh, <laughs> also, yikes! 23%, huh? What if I beat him in a duel? Do I get a skill? Oh, I have to be level 35 or higher, holy shit. There's a really funny quest to the north where the cutscene depends on who you use for it. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. I'll keep that in mind. A oh, cat connoisseur. She just has a whole bunch of jerky. She's kind of strong, too. Oh, I can't ambush her. Level 30 or higher, shit. Uh, make sure to use your favorite there, okay. I'll, I'll try. I'll remember. I'll try. Here, I'm gonna go knock that girl out, but I need to save first. Where's the save point in this level? Hopefully near the beginning, isn't it? He seems powerful. Yeah, but I mean, he's six, right? Was that six power? Oh, I meant this old lady. Um, was she six powerful? Or was it seven? 
Seven would be difficult, I think. Yeah, six. I can do six. Uh, jobs. Merchant. Especially with the current equipment. We have Hikari stacked, I think. Well, not yet, huh? Not with the bow. Oh, Chet still has the engagement bow? Ah, I want that. Damn it. Okay, fine. Uh, evasion. Defense, defense. Plus 60. Okay, let's give this a try. If I must. If I must. <laughs> Some exercise can't hurt, she says. On your guard. On your guard. Now it begins. Allow me. Okay, 15k, bows. <laughs> and physical debuff. She's good. Oh shit. My turn. Okay, but that won't be a problem with my special skill of being able to actually hit people. Let's go. Here I come. Um. Ugh. Now it begins. Is she also weak to swords or lances or something? You know what? I'm gonna check again just in case. How's this? It, it swords really this whole time. Predictable. What a waste. Prepare yourself. Um. Okay, I'm gonna buff myself. <laughs> Dragon Ball power up. <laughs> Man, do I love that. Take that. My blade sings. My blade sings. My turn. What? Boy, I fight for my friends. Ooh, only 7k. She's got defense, at least. Oh shit. Now it begins. But that's okay. That's why we have this. That's that. uh, I need to go through one level of cleric to get the skill that lets you fight, put sir. more HP on yourself. My turn. I'll do that next, I think. All of these people who are weak to swords are just dying. Prepare yourself. Wait for another one. That's all. All right. Here I Take come. a hit, why don't you? Uh, I actually don't need to buff myself because I think I auto buff and it probably doesn't stack. Anything else I can do? Positive status effects then stack. Eh. Eh. Okay. Yeah. I think we just break and keep up. My turn. I'll end this. See if we get My a little more. Does not air. Okay, fair enough. Ugh. Now it begins. That's all. Yeah, 480 is not a lot actually. My turn. I do need that skill. That's all. At least just for duels, it makes it easier. Okay, double hit. Predictable. <laughs> I like that the you evasion's like actually helping me out here. Did not expect. That's fine. Alright, I'm charged up again and ready to grow. Yeah, I'm not sidestepping for a reason. It helps me charge up my special. My turn. Okay. Um here we go. Sings. Now it begins. Ah, I still have the debuff, huh? I'll wait a bit. <laughs> hmm. I'll wait a bit. Allow me. Okay, don't hit. Take two hits. Uh, okay. Here I come. No problem there, and I'm back. Wow, my Hikari hits so hard, yeah. <laughs> this build is very special. Actually, I could recover everything with those. That's bad. But I, I do feel like Hikari himself is just the strongest physical attacker in the game. That's kind of just my how it turn. works. You know what? I'm gonna do it. It's just funny. Wait, where is it? No, wait, wrong one. Whew. Okay. <laughs> Woo! Wake me up. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Yeah, see, I get my auto break, my which is pretty nice. Um, it comes with a buff. Okay. What is this? I fight for my friends. Alright, 8k. There's no need for flattery. It'll rust my soul. <laughs> There's no need for flattery. It'll rust my soul. You still have much to learn. You still have much to learn. Uh, staff attack, all foes, don't need that. Uh... Oh hey, look at this kid. Oh wait, this is the adult. Oh hey, look at this Whoa. adult. <laughs> Sit there with a wife and child who values time with his family. Very nice. Only works on ships that stay close to home. Aw, oh, that's awesome. Uh, I'll leave his sailor's vest, because it's not that good. 
But I'm taking his fortifying nuts take... because, you know, nuts. Also hidden items. Wait, no, give me the... Let me take stuff from the child. Uh, oh, L Soulstone. I need those to mend the um, What's the glass window in Temenos' color thing. I think. I think it was like all sorts of stained glass windows or something. Held in great respect, huh? Sure. Where is it? Out there somewhere. But let's go in and take her stuff. It's Kate Powder. Understandable. I don't know what I expected, but that pretty much fits the bill. Plum basket. And a hand axe. I don't think that's good. Also, did we just skip over? Is she only there at night or something? Is that what this is? Oh, she's in here. No? Oh, she's out there on the far island. Oh, shit. Okay. Also, I did just talk to these people. Hmm... Oh, she has another pearl. Well, it's too late for that, isn't it? <laughs> like, I already gave them back to him. Alright, we'll leave. Ooh. Okay, don't need that just yet. Aww. Look at her over there. Hey, girl. I know you can do just great. You've got that Edelgard outfit on, and with it comes confidence to destroy the world. Giselle, <laughs> there you are. Your troop said you ran away. Did something happen? It all disappeared. Every line I was supposed to say just vanished. Ah, stage fright. My mind went completely blank during rehearsal. With the Imagine Edelgard outfit comes personal crises. <laughs> At least her hair isn't it's white. Before, and every time, I just ran away. I'm not meant for the stage anymore. My life as a performer is over. My life as a performer is over. Giselle. Hey, it's okay. What it about happens. your audience? They've been looking forward to your show. And also, hasn't she been performing for a while? I don't think I've ever seen anyone develop stage fright. I Usually it's something see. you get over and then it's kind of just gone. Like you learn to it ride a bike no words, and then you keep riding a bike, you know? Feels no pain. Hmm. It must be nice not being swayed by anyone. But then again, just because I haven't seen it doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Sometimes I, I wish I could just sink to the bottom of the ocean. Rip Giselle, no. And rest there peacefully, like a seashell. Or a pearl. <laughs> by the way, if you found any, give them to me. <laughs> A Lord Giselle. <laughs> First, we scrutinize her. Leader of the group of driven cars. Uh, Cleveland too. Killed him. Raise the physical attack of the target. Okay, that's pretty cool. Huh. Also, you know, story alert, so I don't think we actually get to use her, but still. Giselle. You said you wanted to be a seashell. If you have a right? bad performance or get booed, maybe you develop it. Yeah, yeah, mm. that could make sense. That could indeed make sense. But you can't. In my experience, I've been pretty lucky. Um, in that, up like that, I've been performing ever since I was quite Keep young. <laughs> huh? Um, so I got over my stage fright very early on. Life ain't always easy. Everybody knows that. Like, uh, I, I think I was in like what kindergarten Making or something. I went to every single competition you could. <laughs> so, um, yeah. I've been doing it for so long, That's I kind of just never had the way. ability to develop stage fright. And even a few bad performances, Agnea. heck, even getting like completely destroyed, oh. you know, completely forgetting your lines, etc. What happened to your feet? It didn't necessarily cow me because I just hadn't thought about being over. scared of it, I guess. Don't tell me, you got all those from dancing? But I suppose if you've been human for longer, I can't imagine how much that <laughs> maybe it affects you more. And at your tender age, these are nothing. They were worth it to bring smiles to people's faces. <sighs> so chin up, Giselle. Let's go, Giselle. You've got Even this. Even if you forget your lines, you just learn them again. Heck yeah. Believe in yourself. You can do anything you set your mind to. Heck yeah. <laughs> A star is someone who illuminates people's lives, right? 
So even if you stumble, also these animations get back on your feet. They're so cute. Look at them. Hmm. The little dance moves. I love it. Just get back on your feet, huh? Heck yeah. Yeah. It's high time you came out of your shell, Giselle. Besides, you're not a seashell. You're a shiny pearl. She is a pearl. <laughs> and I think the world could use your radiance. So if I give her to I that mean, other guy, do I get a uh, empowering legion? You're right. I have to get back on my feet. That's the spirit. Now let's go. Yeah. Also, how did you come out here without a tiny boat? I thought only I had tiny boats. <laughs> only I am allowed to have tiny boats. To the stage. Wait. This isn't the stage, this is the scene of the crime where I knocked out an old lady for no reason. Run, run away. The dove is just sitting there like, hmm, smells like character development. The dove is like, actually, I'm the star of the show. I don't know why everyone's focusing on this Giselle so much. Like, y'all should be comforting me. <laughs> okay, oh, I have to take her to the truth, right, fair enough. Hey folks. Brought you your leader. Wait, did she skip a whole day? While okay, journeying no, across the land with our trusty wagon, we arrived here on Tropu Hopu. On a wagon? On an island? We've come to shine upon the flowers in your hearts, that they may bloom into smiles. Wow. <laughs> we are Giselle's traveling troop, bringing smiles to every corner of the realm. They floated in the wagon. <laughs> I'll believe that. Dove doesn't need comforting. Dove is perfect. <laughs> Dove is like, stop comforting her. Admire me. I can't me. You enough, Agnia. You helped us get our wagon out of the mud and even helped Boss find her courage again. I'm gonna assume that they brought their wagon over on a ship, but also, like, that's just really funny. Like, the idea of a wagon sorry. casually floating across the sea. Up, so... <laughs> I might have gotten a little carried away. Uh, I did? You don't need to apologize. We're grateful to you. <laughs> doesn't sink in water, but sinks she in the mud. She puts on quite the show, doesn't she? Yeah, it was actually an antlion um, under the sure mud. Does. Dragging it down. That's what it was. Boss's bad habit of running away had our troop constantly on the move. But when she stands upon that stage, she shines brighter than anyone. <laughs> Set sail. We don't have a what sail. Sort this of is the spell wagon. What did you cast on her, Agnia? Actually, what we do is we just take off the I've top of the wagon, you know, like the, the cloth cover. Before. We could use that, you know. Praise be the goddess for this day. What spell did I cast on her? Simple charisma. Thank you. Thank you. It warms my heart to see you all smile like this. <laughs> I actually want to see her put on a performance of Edelgard. It would be hilarious. Now then, there's someone I'd like to introduce to you all. It's the dove. <laughs> I owe a great deal to her for setting me on the right path. Yeah, definitely the dove. <laughs> Please welcome Agnia, the traveling dancer. Okay, hey, was this discussed before? Because, um... Me? <laughs> All right, Agnia, do a dance. Thank you. Improv can make for some pretty good performances, if I do say so myself. Show us a dance, will you? Yeah. <laughs> if you insist. Honestly, most performers, uh, or at least most people who have performed, watch me shine. Have something that they have prepared that they're just kind of ready to do. <laughs> so fair enough. No music? Oh, I thought it would have had the lyrics to the song or something, no? Must be later then. Cheers! <laughs> I want to thank everyone for our successful show tonight. And Agnia for touching my heart. Ooh. Your heart? I can say without a doubt that you'll bring happiness to people the world over. I hope some of these lines get worked into Did, the lyrics of the song. Do you really think so? That would be very cool. I agree. You're going to be a star someday. Speaking 
king of stars. <laughs> that reminds me of Dolcinea. Ah, we're bringing her up again, are we? <laughs> I think Agnea here can outshine even that superstar. Oh, big confidence. You've got a real talent for making people smile. <laughs> well, we'll see if she lives up to that. I... I don't know what to say. No, come on, Agnea. Admit to your protagonist but energy. We won't go down without a fight. We have to for the Grand Gala. Ooh, wait. The Grand Gala? This is the equivalent of Tressa's merchant thingy. It's the greatest festival on the Eastern Continent. Entertainers and dancers from all across the realm gather there. Standing upon that stage is the greatest honor there is for performers like us. Oh, I hope it is. I hope it's gonna be similar wow. to the Tressa thing. That sounds like a dream come true. Where like Agnea goes there and beats out that other person. Well, my mind's made up. I'm going to that gala. <laughs> and I bet they bring their treasures you with them. Too, Agnea? Throne A chuckling in the background. <laughs> I just have a feeling. That I need to be there if I'm going to be a star. Which is why I have to go. Alright. <laughs> I remember now why your name sounds so familiar. You've got the same last name as Kwani Bristarni, the star from the West. You knew my mother? Oh, it's not I as see. much of a thievery paradise so as Grand Court. Sad. <laughs> Well, I guess it makes sense. I heard about her. Some great performers probably don't have too in much the in the way of show. wealth, huh? They said she danced there about 20 years ago. And she probably did very well. She was well loved by everyone, just like you. I had no idea. There was that dancer statue I back in like Sai, wasn't this there? I town for myself. I might be able to learn something. Is that a Dulcinea about my statue? There. Maybe it is. There's still time before the gala this year. It might not be a bad idea to pay that place a visit. I believe I will. Thank you, Giselle. Hmm. Doesn't have like 50 pieces of ridiculous equipment. Yeah. <laughs> I love Grand Forts so you much. You gave me more <laughs> courage than I've ever had before. But I haven't been able to yes, give the theme, let's go. You in return. Imagine if Oswald is not the MC and did everyone's main story Giselle. and then did Oswald last in the snow become a snowballed That's man. That's not true. You've all given me so much. Uh, I... Wait. I... Hmm. I feel like I should understand that, but I don't. I missed something. Does Oswald's story end with something? Oh, oh, it just did Oswald last. Okay. <laughs> that actually, that would be kind of funny. Saw a streamer who did that just never picked up Oswald. <laughs> no! Don't not pick up Oswald! He's a great guy! Also, um, that place, Cape Cold, is the same place where the pregnant woman is, so, um... <laughs> So you can both leave Oswald to freeze in the snow and also leave the pregnant woman to be in the process of giving birth for like a good number of weeks if you want to. <laughs> Just toss that entire town out the quite. <laughs> be pretty cool. Giselle showed me the beauty of friendship, the value of a smile, a goal worth fighting for. Is there a right answer? Because I don't think so. You know what? You know what? The power of friendship. That's so? I love this theme so much. Good luck on your journey, Agnia. Thank you. No matter what happens, keep smiling. If you do, happiness is sure to find you. I will. Those are beautiful words. Would you mind also, if I uh, them in a Yui song? Kisaragi Hek? Hello. <laughs> I hope I pronounced <laughs> that somewhere near honor. close to right. I'm sure I didn't pronounce it completely accurately. But I'll do my best. Boss, we're ready to go! Oh, I hope we see them again at the gala, I'm assuming. Looks like this is goodbye for now, Agnia. May the goddess be with you. And I hope we get to beat up Dulcinea. I feel like Dulcinea would make a good final boss Stay for Agnia Root. Everyone. I'll see you at the Grand Gala. At this point, we kind of know Hikari's will probably be Mugen, hopefully, maybe. Um, Just Oswald's probably Harvey. Time, boss. Agnea, probably Dulcinea. 
I'm not going anywhere. Do we know the rest? I guess Tevados, we have no I idea. Stumble? I just have to get back on my feet. Right, Agnia? Heck yeah. Get back on your feet. <laughs> right. I hope we get to beat them up. Listen, yeah, Dulcinea actually really sucks. Like, um, I, I kind of sensed something about her. I was like, I don't trust this girl. And then we get to see, like, a little scene, um, where it turns out that she's been plotting pretty much everyone who gets close to her level of stardom, uh, she takes him down. Agnea has set her sights on a new goal, performing at the Grand Gala. She believes dancing upon the stage there will lead to her stardom. Her fateful meeting with Giselle's traveling troupe provides her with a verse to the Song of Hope. But before the gala, she decides to visit a town her mother once danced in. That has to be Sai, isn't it? Oswald is it Harvey? It's Harvey. The all caps is important. <laughs> At least it's not like the alternating caps and no caps because that means something evil is going on. My former companion has returned. Would you look at that? Okay, save successful, I guess. And um, looks like there's a scent of commerce here, but we are out of time. So probably gonna do the scent of commerce at some point. Uh, probably not even just now. And next time we'll start off with the level 20 pluses, I think. What are we on next? Casty... Casty 2. Um, these are both 30s, I think. Twenty-nine, twenty-four. Okay, so it could be Casti two or Temenos three. Probably Casti two, maybe Temenos. Oh, okay, I could do either. Uh, looks like thirty-four over there. So heck yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be so fun. All right, um, I'm looking forward to the rest of these stories, and I will indeed be continuing them at some point. Um, probably this Wednesday, maybe I think. Uh, might even be on Monday. Uh, I might even be back tomorrow with more of this. It really depends on whether I decide to play Octopath Traveler or draw something, because I might be doing that. Um, oh, Yui, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate. Heck yeah. Um, and also, I'll see y'all later. I'm gonna check to see if anyone else is streaming at the moment and see if we can raid someone. Call somebody a raid. Uh, looks like nobody I know is, so I'll be heading out then. And last but not least, um, if you do feel like it, we've got a Discord. I'll be posting updates on there, so if you're ever uncertain of what I'll be playing next, check that out. We've also got a community, of course. Um, Alright, I'll see y'all later. Bye!